Oh. <clears throat> Hear me? Hello? Hello? Ah. Uh. Oh. Ah. Uh. Oh, hello? Yes, they can hear me. Don't talk loud enough. You gotta put hello, you can hear can you hear me? You can so hold on, let me see. Noise gate on. Your voice is pretty much noise. Turn turn it off. Okay, I turned off the noise gate. Turn the noise gate. Syncope was talking so low that my noise gate thought she was noise. I'm noise. Okay, let me turn up the audio a little bit more because you don't know how to talk. Can people hear me? Help. Listen, I have very weak lungs. I don't have enough blood in my body to live. Okay, syncope, right. say some words. I'm saying words. Is, can the people hear me? Because I'm small. Oh, you, gotta, you need help. You need help. That's as good as it's gonna get. Um, Maybe if I drink this Red Bull, I'll be a given power to be louder. Maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'm very tired, you guys. You wanted to stream. No, but here's the thing. Sometimes being tired is good, because then I'm funny. <laughs> the other day, I, I drank alcohol, and I was funny then, too. Oh, it's a shame we don't have any of that. <laughs> Even oh. if we did, I'd be allergic to it. Probably. You're weird. <sighs> yeah, I'm a big piece of shit. Big piece of tit. All right, so what am I doing? I've just got this computer in front of me. Oh, I forgot. Um, Go ahead and, um, yeah, just open that application you have highlighted. Rock Cock's drink of choice is water. Mark, Rock Cock's drink of choice is being very moist. Ew. What? So what am I doing? Did, open the executable that you have selected. What's the executable? The one that's highlighted in the that? browser. Yeah. But you mean I don't even get to like pick a character? You, you, just gonna you be do. A we're not. Or? We're not there yet. Just please calm down. This thing? But that's the thing that just open it. Before. Don't yell at me. Just I'm adjusting the volume. Please stop yelling at me. Okay. Okay. I think we're. I think we're in. Um. Let me adjust some things here. Bear the. He better not defeat my son. The snubble. I No, he's still the lord of the manor. Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and make a name for your character, Syncope. Uh, uh, oh, shit. I didn't think of a name for my character. Are you really going to spend like an hour trying to come up with a name for your character? Oh, man. I'm, just, I'm just calling myself Synka. That's what I go by on the internet. Oh, man. Oh. Just call yourself Big Butt 64. I'm going to be Rocky. <laughs> Thanks for the sub, Skull Kid. Thank you for subscribing. Okay. Uh, first, okay, then create a password. A it password? doesn't really matter. Uh, I hope I spelt it right. Better. Okay, now you have to select a race. Oh so my God. each race has different skill bonuses. Dumb shit. And each gender can also change those skill bonuses. Okay. So determining what kind of character you want to play, you're going to want to pick a race that matches it. So, like, if you want, so, for example, the Wood Elf has great light armor, marksman for bows and arrows, and sneaky. And then they're also, you know, whatever. Uh, Dark Elf is just kind of a jack-of-all-trades. High Elf is kind of magic-y. So it really depends on what kind of character you want to play. I want to be an elf, but what, what do you recommend elf-wise? Well, what, what kind of character do you want to play? Like, I mean, uh, skill-wise. Like, what weapons, what do you want to do in the game? Honestly, don't know, dog, because uh, I'm bad at a lot of things. Uh, <laughs> when I played Skyrim, I just did the sneaky archer bullshit. In that case, Wood Elf would be best. All right, I'll just do that. Yeah, that'll be a thing I can yeah. do. Yeah. So now you can adjust gender, Maybe face, and hair. Lady. There you go. And you can change the face and the hair with those bottom two I'm selectors. Be a beautiful woman. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a little creepy. So while she's making her character. I'm going to go ahead and pick my character. Now, I thought about this long and hard. Um, so yeah, what, you did. I did. So when I played this game growing up, I played this kind of weird effed up character that was um, like longsword and medium armor. 
but I also specialized in like sneak and um, and security. So I was like a sneaky thief with medium armor and a big sword, which is kind of weird, you know? Yeah, I, I wish people could see my end of things because this hair looks like cat vomit to me, and it's I mean, really weird. Let me show everyone what the cat vomit hair looks like. <laughs> Here we go. This is the it cat is. vomit it's hair she's looking at. Cat vomit hair. It's awful. Yeah. So, like I was... <laughs> Talk about your nerd shit now. Okay, fuck you. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I played a weird character like that. Then, later on, I ended up... I, I went through a whole, you know, archer, uh, sneaky build. And then, most recently, I played a full-on mage with just all of the, you know, magic specializations and no armor and no um, weapon. So now, I think I want to try something that's kind of in between that, I guess? So I want to do something that both has a weapon and armor, but also specializes in enchanting, so that I can enchant things to help us. So I look through all the characters here, and look at me when I'm talking to you, character. So I look through all the characters here, and it turns out the best race for that is an orc female. Now, that's weird because, no, one, nobody ever places orcs in these games. <laughs> and two, no one ever places orc females on top of that. So I guess I gotta be an orc female. So let's see. Let's try to make one that doesn't look too gross. They all look gross. Great. All the characters stuff in this is terrible. <laughs> Every character in this game is ugly. <laughs> like, the hair is, like, the crappiest thing it I've is. ever seen. <laughs> Alright, God. Do you like this hair? Do it up. Uh... <laughs> Let's see what else we got. I could be a grandma. Yeah, be a grandma. I like that. Be a grandma. You want me to be a grandma? Yeah, yeah be grandma. Okay, let's see what grandma's Rocky face. grandma. Should I have weird, like, forehead things? Uh, nah. Uh, just, be, just be as grandma as possible. Okay, this is grandma. All right. I'm Rocky the grandma. Great. Grandma Rocky. <laughs> I can't believe this. Okay, so I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to have some kind of armor... Either heavy or medium, I'm not sure yet. And then I guess I'll do axe. No, I want to do blunt weapon. I'm going to do blunt weapon, even though that's not one of my skill bonuses. Okay, so I'm going to be an orc. Am I done? Um, yeah, if that's the character you want, you can hit okay. I guess that's what I Okay, so now this is the part where we um, create the class. Oh, no. So, this isn't that bad. So, what I recommend is doing the last one, um, create custom class. Yeah, that one. So, okay, so in your case, you want it to be an archer. So that first option where it says specialization, you see how it says combat right now? Uh -huh. um, change combat to stealth. Uh, yeah. Stealth. So that's going to better favor the attributes you want. So okay. next, under favorite attributes, do you see that? Uh, favorite attributes. Yeah, so you're going to want to pick... Though, so you get two f attributes you can tag as your favorite. So you're going to want to pick ones that, you know, fit the kind of character you want to go by. So if you click on one of the entries, like Strength, for example, you're going to get a list of the attributes you can pick. And hovering over it's going to show you what each of them does. Oh. So, like, oh Strength affects your health, how much you can carry, your max fatigue, and how much damage you do so in stuff. melee. Intelligence is for magic, so you don't, you're you probably not going to want that. I'm going to be real dumb. <laughs> Willpower is also for magic and fatigue. You probably don't really need that. Agility is dodging and melee and your max fatigue. Speed is how fast you go. Endurance affects your starting health and your health gain per level. That's probably an important thing. Yeah, endurance is probably good for you. And then you can probably pick just okay. whatever tickles your fancy with the second one. Sounds good. <laughs> so now you have your skills. Um, okay. So your this is I think this is similar to how they do it in like Oblivion and Skyrim. Your major skills are gonna start higher and advance faster, and your minor skills are gonna start less high than your major and advance less faster, but still faster than the ones you don't tag. So you're probably gonna wanna, so you're probably gonna want to tag your start with your main weapon. So if you want to be a marksman, that's under the stealth category. Marksman. Yeah. And if you're doing marksman, I recommend also having a secondary melee weapon, oh. just because you know bows and arrows run out. Okay. Um, so I mean, you could do short blade, but if there's something, because short blade falls under stealth, which is what you're um, specialized in. Mm. 
But if you want something else, I mean, heck, you could do it. It's just... Yeah, you know. Uh, can I do long blade? Yeah. No, you can do it. Okay. It's just... You know, that relies on strength. So when you use it, you're going to be leveling some strength. But yeah, no, it's up to you. I'll just do short blade like a dingus. Okay. Um, um, so then you want to pick an armor. Since you're stealth, light armor would make the most sense. Yeah. Okay. So, so then two more skills you want to specialize in for major. Um, you probably want to do some... Um, Okay, so you can do speechcraft and then pick another major skill. And remember, your major skills are going to advance the fastest. So these are the ones you're probably going to use the most. I, that might be a good idea. So now your minor skills, they're kind of like your major. They just aren't as, you know, they're not as big boys. And you could, you could pick long blade for your minor, so you could also level up, mine, you know, long blade. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, so yeah, you do security. And then, so acrobatics and athletics are also good ones to just have. Hmm. Sorted. Oh, sorted spiral. Tell Julian we said hi. Uh, um. Oh. Said hi. Yeah. Tell Julian we said hello. Keep drawing. Hello. Keep drawing bippy. Keep drawing the bippies. Hello. Okay. So um, I, athletics and acrobatics are good ones to have because they help you go faster and jump higher. Um. Obviously, mercantile lets you get better deals at the shops. Um, if you end up using a shield, block will help with that. Um, if you want to repair your own armor, then armor is an option. Um, you got long blade security, so now you have three more to pick. I, I forgot to explain yours. Intelligence and strength, I'm going to... I'm gonna do, yeah, I decided I wanted to do Blunt Weapon, because I never use Blunt Weapon in this game, and I want to do something different this this time around. So let's see, where is Blunt Weapon? Does anyone see Blunt Weapons? Does anyone see Blunt Weapons in this list? I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Okay, Blunt Weapon. Do I want to do Medium or Heavy Armor? Shit. Uh, Medium, I decided. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Medium armor. Okay, so I'm going to pick enchant as a major because I want to be able to enchant stuff for both of us. Um, so blunt, medium, enchant. I had this all planned out at one point. I've forgotten. I, don't, well, I, well, I need one more. Oh, well, what do you have to pick so I far? Have, uh, long blades, carry, sneak, athletics. Uh, you can probably do acrobatics, so you can. Do some jumping. Okay. All right, I'm done. Okay, so but, so before you go, let me finish mine. What's this name thing? Oh, you can you can name your class. It doesn't really matter, okay. but yeah, right, as long as, And while I'm doing this, hit class description and type in what your class is. Okay, so uh, blunt weapon, medium armor, enchant, um, uh, heavy armor. That's a good point, whistle jacket. My description for my class says some kind of idiot who doesn't know what they're doing. So I'm gonna do heavy Sound armor good? for a, that's good. I'm gonna do heavy <laughs> armor for a minor skill. The the name of my class is Dingus. That's a good one. You like it? I do. Good. Okay. I'm gonna do conjuration as a major as well because mm. conjuration is very useful for enchantment and soul trapping. Mm. Um, let's see. As a minor skill. Dude, I had this plan out at one point, I swear. Okay, for minor skills, I'm going to do some speechcraft. I'm going to do some mercantile. I'm going to have... Should I do armorer as a major? I don't know, dog. I'm going to do armorer as a major so I can repair stuff as well. Okay, so heavy, speechcraft, mercantile. I'm going to keep block as a minor. What should, what should my last minor skill be? I'm reading what the people say. Thank you. Russell Jacket said if you're going to be an enchanter, you might want to do heavy armor, actually. Right. Um, uh, Goatman said if you're playing with expansions, the medium is better than it is without expansions. True. I'm going to keep heavy as a minor, and then okay, I just need one more skill, because I don't know if I want athletics. Let's see what we got. Block, armor, long axe. Restoration. 
Mm, I want to try to take care of that with enchanting. You know what? For minor, I'm going to do axe, since I already have a plus five because I'm an orc. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. That's good enough. Okay, You're so I, I'm a dork. So, grandma, that's your, so that's your thing. I'm, I'm a grandma. <laughs> My class description, I give you cookie. There we go. <laughs> so I am grandma. Okay, grandma. so let's both hit okay. Okay, grandma. Okay, next we have oh, to God. pick... <laughs> I know. We have to pick our the birth sign we were born under. So they're, they're all listed here. They all explain what they do. Okay. Now, a you see, you see how uh, this says ability? Mm -hmm. So this means that always is affecting your character at all times. Yeah. Whereas um, if you click on, let's say, um, okay, that one. Spells. You see spells? Mm -hmm. The spell is just a normal magical spell you have in your inventory. You can use like any other spell. Uh -huh. But then if you click on the lover, you see one says power. Powers are special. They're, they work like spells, except you always cast them they never fail um, but you can only cast them once a day okay. right. so you can go through the list and kind of find something that looks good, That's a good one. now personally because of mine i'm gonna pick i had this planned out i swear i'm gonna go with the lady because that Additional endurance is gonna help me, and the personality doesn't hurt since no one likes orcs. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see what Sinkabi can do. So the tower, so the warrior gets. A, <laughs> the so the tower, your power is 50 points. So you can unlock something, mm -hmm. but that only you can only do that once a day. Okay. And eventually, your your security skill to unlock things will probably surpass that. Mm -hmm. So it's really up to you. Um, and that beggar's. N knows you can that'll those detect things just show those things on your mini map uh, i don't think it's very useful personally well, what's useful um let me let me see what we have so let's scroll th let's go through one by one there's not that many so the apprentice yeah. is for magic you don't need it Atronox also for magic you don't yeah. need it lady gives you more personality and endurance that's decent and that's what i'm going with so show the people we're looking at. right sorry um so the lord Gives you 100% weakness to fire. If anyone casts fire on you, you're going to take a lot of damage. But you start with a health spell. It's not very good. <laughs> okay, the lover gives you better agility, so you can jump higher off the bat. Mm. And then it also lets you once a day paralyze your foe for a minute. Mm. That's pretty useful in a, in a bind. Mm. So that's one to consider. Um, the mage, What's not going to need... Fatigue, oh, that's going to drain your opponent's stamina. So, oh, that? so yeah, that's helpful if you're paralyzed on them. The mage, that's... You know, magic, you're not going to yeah, need that. Off, magic yeah. man. So the ritual, you get, as a power, you can restore your health 100 points once a day. Mm -hmm. And then you get two other, two turn undead spells, which let, if you cast that on undead creatures, they'll run away from you. Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, the serpent gives you a poison spell. Eh. The shadow gives you invisibility power. Eh. The steed starts you off with higher speed, so you'll move faster right out the gate. Um... The thief gives you sanctuary 10 points. That means you have like um, a 10 point chance of when people try to hit you, they'll miss. Oh. So, um, I think the thief or the steed are both good choices, honestly. Hmm. Maybe sanctuary is good. Yeah, if that's what you want, that way you have that slight chance to get lucky and have them miss you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going with the lady. Thanks, Wolfgang, for the subscription. Thank you, Wolfgang. So I'm going with the lady for personality and endurance. Syncope is going with sanctuary under the thief. So I'm going to hit OK. And we're going to spawn in uh, the ship. So here we are. Ah, so now ah. we can... Whoa. Whoa. Uh, press OK. Okay. okay and do, uh, hit F2 twice so that chat window goes away. We're right next to each uh, other. F2. F2. Yeah, just hit it twice. There we go. So it's hidden. So now we can see each other. This is Syncope's Wood Elf. There she is. And and let me... And I am a grandma. You can see me now. I'm here with, with my my adopted daughter, Syncope. No, I'm a granddaughter, dummy. My adopted grandma. granddaughter. So this guy right here, Syncope, this is Geob. Uh, Geob. Geob. He eventually becomes Saint Geob for driving the cliff, racer, the cliff racers out of Morrowind. He actually drives every single cliff racer out, and he's granted sainthood for that. You spoil this for me. Well, it's never ever happens in this game. It's it's lore that happens later. Yeah. So I just thought you should know. Well, I don't want to 
want to know that. Well, does it get bad? Please erase it from my mind. Okay. Whoosh. Let's go. Get out of my way, Grandma. All right, so let, let's get out of here. How do I move quickly? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, shift is to run. Uh, shift? Yeah. Now, in the bottom left corner, you have those three bars, right? Yeah. Red is your health, blue is your magic, green is your fatigue. Uh -huh. Now, I've set us both up with... Um, I've adjusted the settings so that when you run, you use up less fatigue and you go a little faster than in the base game, just to make this a little more bearable. Uh -huh. I briefly considered changing missing in combat, um, so you always hit, but I thought that was a little too much and the game's kind of balanced the way it is, and it'll be fine, we'll get we'll get over it. So here we are, we just, so Syncope, we arrived on the ship. Since we're doing this multiplayer mod, it didn't show us the intro, but basically, we were prisoners in the Imperial City, which was the location of Oblivion. Where you'd like to play that um, that speech game with all the NPCs? <laughs> Literally, the only thing she would do when she plays Oblivion is play that persuasion game with the yeah, with the wheel. Really? She loves it. Yeah. So we arrived from there. We were prisoners for there. Um, you can make up the reason why you were imprisoned. I was ugly. Okay. I was imprisoned for serving poison cookies to um, to a, a wood elf. And that's was why it you... me, and that's why I'm ugly now. No, it was your parents. That's why you're an orphan oh, now. Shit. Okay. So then, suddenly the emperor. Let's go. The Emperor ordered us sent here to Morrowind, out of nowhere. And we don't really know why. So here we Let's are. Go. Move it along. This guy wants us to move along. Let's go. Alright, what happens if I fall in the water? You'll drown to death. Really? Oh, no. <laughs> That's too bad. So this man wants us to go inside. Hi. He's, he's watching us. We he's are scum. Handsome. So inside we go. Okay, so this is the man who normally takes us through the character creation, but we already did that, so we don't gotta worry about that. Wait, how, if the man teaches us to create a character, right. how do we exist until we speak to that man? Um, that's a very good question, and I'd rather you didn't ruin Todd's beautiful am gay I, world. Am I like a, You're a, punching a, am I a spirit until that point? No, you just are. I'm just a ghost, and then he gives me a body? Well, you know how Professor Oak is can't tell what gender you are? Basically, everyone up to this point in the game is race blind, gender blind. And Maybe Professor Oak's just polite and he wants you to decide for yourself. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so that we can. He has very nice eyes. Oh, yeah, he has beautiful eyes. He's a Breton. He's a the, very nice man. The Bretons are very. Stupid white people. Yes. Get out of here. All right, that was really good. Okay, so I have to unlock this door with cheating because the game doesn't handle this right in this version of the mod, so bear with me. Okay, so this is the door to the rest of the world. So here we go. Let's go to the world. Okay, so wait, 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 wait oh. a second. I'm going to close this door behind us. Oh, why? Okay, now, now they can't see us, Syncope. Oh, yeah? Okay, so let's start grabbing shit. So let's head down here and see if there's anything good in the cellar first. How do I grab shit? Well, I'm going to show you. Okay, first things first. Buckets are completely useless, so don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. So here's some, here's some crud over here. Like the, Okay, so right-clicking right -clicking brings you up your menu. Now, nice thing about Morrowind, this was designed as a PC game first, whereas everything after this was designed as a console game first. The nice thing about it being a PC game, all these windows, you can move around just like uh, just like in a Windows computer. So you can drag the title bar and move them around. The top right corner, that button will, um, if you press it once, it'll get clicked in, and if you unright click, you, you'll have that window pinned. Oh. And if you click it again, it disappears. If you double click on the taskbar, for that window, uh -huh. the window is gone from your menu. Never. Until you find your matching HUD icon, oh. Oh, and, no. double, and, and double click on it to bring it back. Oh. So you can set this up however you want. I'm gonna set mine up the way I always have mine, but you can do yours however it's most comfortable for you. Oh. I'm just gonna. I like to do it like this, but this is just how I've been doing it since Where I was a teenager. You... Where did you put your little bars? Where'd they go? Oh, I I hid them under my. Oh. Under my inventory. I guess that's sensible. Yeah, but it's really up to you. I I always set mine up like this, and I've always done this since I was a kid. You're a neurotic child. I'm an erotic child. No. Ew, you don't want to say you that. You said dude. it, not me. I said neurotic. Erotic here, here is we something can see else. Syncope staring at this bear. Okay, okay. so it's, it's it's a bucket. Thank you. You're welcome. So over here are some um, containers. Um, and the default activate button is the space bar. So in here, it looks like a goblet. goblet. Just some junk. These these bags have some alchemy ingredients. 
but not, neither of us picked alchemy, so we're probably not going to need that unless you want to sell some of it. It's always good to look at the value of this stuff, and if you see something that's worth a decent amount, to grab it to sell. sell this cool weed. That's worth one gold, so probably not even worth grabbing. <laughs> um, Alright, so this seller down here, this is a bunch of nonsense. Where'd you go? Oh, I, I'm over here. Let's go up here. Now here, this has some much nicer stuff. So, like right off the bat, here's a dagger. And you're short blade, so you can definitely use that. I'm short. Uh, how do I take it? You can press spacebar to activate it. And as you can see, it was stabbed into a note. There was a reason this was here, so you oh, can read no. that. Here is Scar. Don't think I've forgotten our wager. I want this dagger sharp as a scamp's claw by morning. Glancicle. <laughs> you just stole Gansicle's dagger. Glancicle. Yeah, so you. look at some of this stuff on the table, and I you'll took it. it's mine go ahead. look at some of this stuff on the table, and you'll see some of this is worth a decent amount of money. Mm, crab like, meat. Crab meat, not so much, but look at some of the other stuff. Like, I'm digging that. Like check out this alcohol. I'm digging that. Check out the alcohol. That's very expensive. A hundred. So you might as well grab the alcohol to sell this. Look at all this expensive silverware. So we're gonna loot this place a bit. Can I eat that bread? Um, you can't. Well, you can use it for ingredients. I'm gonna eat that. Um. What we got over here? There's a book oh, on this shelf. I stole the light. Now there's a there's a small chest there, but it's locked. Oh. Now on the table here, there's a lock pick. Oh. So since you picked, I, I I don't know if you had security or sneak, but either way, you can give it a shot. It's both. Good. So you can grab it. Now you're gonna want to equip that lock pick. Okay. So you can just right click to go into your menu, and the, in your inventory down on the bottom, just click on the lock pick once. With what button? Uh, your left click. And then click it onto your rag doll. Your paper doll, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got the paper doll. That's your, your player, your picture of your oh, player. Okay. Now you have it equipped. So you can right click to go back into the like game. I, would know what you mean. I don't know. Actually, let me turn the brightness up on the stream, because it looks like. It's yeah, and that's an issue with how Morrowind does its appearance. Let me turn on some filters here. Uh, color correction. Is it color correction? Yes, it is. Turn this brightness up. And turn the contrast a little bit. That'll do for... Uh, let me turn the brightness down a little bit. Close. Okay, good. Now we get the chat back. Okay, so here we are. Now you have the lockpick equipped. So you have to use it like a weapon. So press F to unsheathe your weapon. And now you can just click on it. On the chest. Lockpick success. Right? Yeah, I'm smart. Now you can open it with your space bar. And there you go, that had 31 gold in there. Money. And then there's some other stuff here. There's some fl flasks, there's an egg, a big egg. And then there's a book up here book. called The Firmament. You should look at the book. Oh, and oh, let, me, let me grab this book. Okay. Nonsense. Oh, The Firmament. The stars of Tamriel are divided into 13 constellations. Three of them are the major constellations known as the Guardians. These are the Warrior, the Mage, and the Thief. Each of the Guardians protects its three charges from the 13th constellation of the serpent. So these constellations are actually the birth signs that we picked when we made our character. Now this goes on and explains each of the constellations. That's silly. If you wanted to read that, it'd be my guess. I'm just gonna take it. You, sh you can take it yeah. and hit the take. There you go, so now you take have it. it. And then these two, ma the Mastis here, these are alcohol and they basically serve as a potion. Right now we don't know what they do because our alchemy is really low. Um, I'm not gonna bother grabbing them, but if you want them, you can get them. Um, you have your encumbrance is that blue bar above your paper doll. So I have 275, you have 150. I'm small. You're a little. I'm a small person. Not much about ingredients in these baskets, son. These baskets suck. Yeah, so I'm gonna go through the door. Alright. Oh, wow, we spent a while on there. night time. <laughs> okay. Now, in this barrel, there's a magic ring. You're gonna want to grab that ring, the engraved ring of healing. Oh. It belongs to someone very important in town. Oh. So you just take that with you. And you can even wear it. Just put it on your character so you have a ring. There you go. And to ready magic, you just press the R button. And that unsheathes, quote unquote, your magic. Why would I do that? By pressing R. Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. You have to actually select the spell as well. So that, that ring has a healing spell on it. So you can heal yourself with it. So, so if you, you, you right-click... Um, that that menu you put under your map, that's your that's your magic. So you can see you have beast tongue because you're a um, wood elf. Oh. 
So with that, you can command creatures level 5 and below you. And then there's the engraved ring of healing. So if you click on that, you'll have that selected. And then you can ready the magic by pressing R. Oh, but it only has... Uh, 20 charges. 20 yeah. charges. Now, thankfully, that charges over time. So after it runs out, it'll recharge itself. So let's go. Let's go ahead in the door. Uh, what door? Oh, uh, that one. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So you this guy over here is Celis Gravius. He's one of the Imperials. I don't have any papers, Mister. Oh, that's fine. So I'm talking to him. Uh, so he's taking our identification papers. Um, he's thanking us and he's welcoming us to Morrowind. And he's basically telling us that the Emperor sent us here uh, for important duties. Mm -hmm. So, he gave us a package. We have to take it to someone called Caius Casadas in the town of Belmora. Uh, we're to deliver this encoded package to him, and he's going to give us further instructions. Caius. Caius. Okay, so I should have a package now. I have two of them because the game's a little funny. So now if you press J to open your journal, theoretically we should have the same quest. Yes. So J's for your journal. Um, and this shows a summary of our quest. So, so we're to head to Belmora and deliver the package to Caius. Caius. Whatever you want to call him. No, that's what his name is. So you can press F to put your lockpick away so people don't think you're trying to shank them. I'm going to shank you with my lockpick. I'm grand. I want to unlock your heart. All right, now let's head into town. Here we are. So here we are. This is Sedanin. This is the starter town. It's a tiny little, um, what do you call it? What's the word? It's a tiny little port town. Um, that's the prison ship we came in on. And here's the residence. So this guy right here, I don't know if I can help this is Fargoth. I'll try. Is he okay? No, so the guards stole his ring. Oh. You can talk to him. That's a shame about that. I don't know what I can do for you. Mm, press space. He has a little butthole for a mouth. He does. He's kind of gross. <laughs> press, press space to I talk to him. I don't like him. I don't want to talk to him. Are you the one that boat dropped off? Odd to see a boat arrive at that time of the day. Hope the Imperials treated you okay. I swear they took my ring. Now, do you see how the word ring in his uh, vo uh, vocabulary had, looks like a link? Yeah. So that's how the dialogue works in this game. Hey, come back. I'm talking to you. Come back. That's a glitch. <laughs> <laughs> with the multiplayer, but you're still talking to one. So yeah, dialogue works through hyperlinks. So click on ring. That is a short attention span. Hmm. Uh, I swear one of the guards has it. I had it last week before their weekly "Let's Shake Down Fargoth" ritual. An engraved healing ring, family heirloom of mine. You haven't seen it, have you? So you can either lie to him or you can give him his ring. What do I get for giving him his he, ring? He'll be no. your new best friend. Liar! He will not. No. And if you give it back, we we have an opportunity to get it later. Alright, I found it, jerk. You found it? Amazing! Thank you, thank you! You are now my favorite friend. Oh. I'll be sure to tell the others, especially my friend Aril, who runs the trade house here. Go see him, he'll be happy to see you now. Oh. So one benefit is now we'll get a better deal at the local shop. That's alright, oh. I guess. So you can hit Hello. goodbye, or you can ah. ask him about other stuff. Listen, but, I was uh, just talking to you, dumbass. Well, he's your, your, his new favorite friend. You see that blue bar? That's your best position to him. You're 100% his favorite friend. Yeah, his favorite friend in yeah. the whole world. So, you can hit goodbye or That's whatever. That's how you be friends with people. You give them stuff. Yeah. So, now that he has that, I think we should stop in at Aril's just to speak with some of the folk there. You should moonwalk all over the place. Here I go. Speak freely, <laughs> Okay, so this is Aril's. It's your grandma, but I don't know. Let's just head on. For some reason, his door is back here. I don't know why. Can you jump in this game? Yes, you press E. E. Which is kind of the opposite. For some reason, they have jump and activate swapped in this e. game. Don't know why. Can I switch it? You can. You can press it? escape and go to the options and do it. and you can what fix the heck it. With that? I'm going to adjust my controls. Actually, I'll leave my brightness uh, how it is. Um, so uh, you activate uh, is space. You can change it to e. e. And then you can find jump, which should be further up. No, there it is. And change it to space. There we go. Yeah. Now life makes sense and again. I, yeah, now you can hit OK. All right, uh, so this is our reels, so we can just head on in here. Uh, all right, I'm going in. I'll just learn how to activate what do you things. Want? <laughs> <laughs> so this is our reel. He's the guy who we're going to get discounts from now. Yeah. Um, we don't have much to give him. Well, actually, you do. You picked up stuff, remember? For, um, from the from the place we came in? Thing? Yeah, so press space. Um, activate him and... Activate him. And... 
you he can. Says you want a little advice? Ooh. That's free. That's all. That's free. I want a little advice. Okay, what's the advice? If you want to live to a ripe old age, buy a weapon and as much armor as you can wear, He's and still done, run from trouble. Right. Buy a spell or two and practice your skills. Don't practice on citizens. We call that foul murder, and we oh. don't like it. Oh no! But you can kill smugglers and bandits and other outlaws all you like. Great. Outlaws have no rights. Plenty yeah. of adventurers make a living from killing and looting outlaws. I love to kill. That smuggler scum <laughs> down in. Adam's family, for instance. <laughs> the cave down near the Silt Strider platform. So he gave us a little tip on where we can find outlaws. So now you, you can hit barter if you want to try and sell your stuff to barter. him. So now here's how bartering in this game works. So you can okay. see your stuff on, on you know your window, and then uh -huh. his stuff in his window. Yeah. So you can click on your window what you want to sell, and it's going to show your total sold over in his window. Oh. And from there, you can adjust it up or down. And depending on your mercantile skill, he may or may not accept your, you know, your haggle. Mm -hmm. Now you can see you have 31 gold on the right. You see that? And he has 800 gold. Yeah. So yeah, I consider that he can only, that's as much gold as he has. And he won't replenish it until a few days pass. Mm -hmm. So you might as well sell more of the expensive stuff like the Flynn, mm -hmm. which is worth 100. Mm -hmm. So he's offering you 68 for it. No, yeah. it's worth 100, dummy. So you can try to haggle him upward. How many upward can you haggle? It's going to depend on your mercantile skill and your personality. I have a great personality. So if you want to try 80, I mean, hit offer. I'm going to try 80. He accepted it. That's because I have a great personality. You so you can try that with the rest of your stuff. You can give him multiple items and then adjust his offering price as you want. So see, 27 for the book. And now the way it works is you give him everything and then you adjust the price once you've given him everything. <laughs> you probably don't want to give him your ID. <laughs> Why? He'll steal your identity. He can have it. What good is it? It's you're the only. Can I sell him hmm? Caius's package? That would be a bad idea. <laughs> you don't let me have any fun. Um, I guess that's all okay. the things. So you can adjust how oh, much on, you're asking for, and then you can hit offer to see if he'll take the price. I want all your money, sir. Careful. <laughs> much the stuff I and, and, use and you kind of have to give him a feel but you can hover over you see the red boxes that's the stuff you're offering uh, him and that'll show you the value of each of the items I think I can ask him for more than that mm -hmm. so let's see if he'll take it I'm gonna do it I'm gonna ask him for 200 money okay let's see if he'll take it oh, it's too high try to go a little lower I'm gonna go for 185 still oh, too high Keep going down. <laughs> Lower. I don't want it. It takes too long. I think I'd get more money if I just individually <laughs> sold each item. There you go. There. I have money now. There and now, cool. and now check this out. Hit goodbye to exit out of the, out of the menu. Um, can you see what the chat people were saying? Uh, I'm, I'm looking at it. Okay, hit goodbye to exit out of the menu. Thank you. Please come again. Thank you. Please now, come again. Now, right-click to get to your in, to your okay. character sheet. Now, on your left, um, where you have your skills listed, mm -hmm. um, scroll to your mercantile skill. Uh, now, you see how how you have progress towards it advancing. You have yeah. sixty out of hundred. So, by by bar bartering with him, you've advanced that skill. Cool. So that's how this works. As you use your skill, it goes up. So let's head upstairs into the bar here. There's someone we need to speak with. Oh, that's, uh, what's her name? Outlander, what do you want? What do you want? I don't know. I so, don't know what I want. So over here there's, an, there's a Nord called Herskar Flatfoot. I want to talk to him. And uh, he says, yeah, we look like we could use a friend. Perhaps I can be your friend. I'd like you to help me recover some gold. I already have a friend. That's an right. Idiot. See, I had a bad luck, a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally I'd be fine. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money the locals pay us for. Protection. Mm -hmm. But I know some of them are holding out on me. Especially that little Fetcher Fargoth. Fetcher? Yeah. Is that a swear? Yes. Is that a slur? Mm -hmm, maybe. Against my people? Oh, oh. <laughs> He's come up light the past couple of weeks when I've shaken him down. I know he's stashing it somewhere. I'd like you to find Fargoth's hiding place. I know the little Fetcher's got one somewhere in town. I'm just not sure where. 
I've already gone through the whole house, so I know he's not hiding it there. I'd like you to find out where he's stashing his gold. If you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Uh, is this the bit where we have to sit somewhere and stare at a yes. tree for like an hour? <laughs> That's the last thing I remember doing, because, like, one time you made yeah. me watch you play this game. I think we were, like, 16 at the time. Mm -hmm. so he's telling us the best vantage points on top of the lighthouse. It's been, like, 16 years since you tried Pretty to make much. me watch you play this. So, let's head to that lighthouse. I don't know if he does it this oh, night or the next what? night. It's already almost daylight, so we might have to wait until next time. Ooh, very quickly. Let me check the stump. Grandma, okay. you're too fast I'm sorry. For me. Okay, so far looks like it's Grandma. almost morning, so Farth Goss is not gonna hide things. Grandma, wait for me. Ah Where are you? I jumped off there the There you are. Get out of that swamp, it's dirty. <laughs> it's filthy in there. It's nice and cool in there. So either way, I'm gonna head towards the lighthouse to see if there's any neat stuff. Because I like neat stuff. I think it's neat. I have to turn up my brightness. It's hard to see. Uh, gamma correction. That's a little better. Much better. <laughs> now be careful because jumping drains uh, your your fatigue. So yeah, your green meter is going down. So I ooh, oh I fell down. Doesn't running do it too? It you does. Run all over the fucking place. So I happen to know over here in this this stump there's a secret. So can you jump into that stump for me? Jump into stump. Ah, oh, it's it's hard to do. I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's all jump in the stump. I'm gonna jump in the stump. No! Oh, oh, I, I tripped. You're bad at life. But there's something very good in there. I'm doing it. I'm gonna do it. I need to. I need to. Um, I'm gonna see who gets in that stump first. It's gonna be me. I need to not go from that angle. Ah, I got it. No. So in this stump is an iron shard axe. Oh. It's worth, a uh, hundred. And it has some. I'm, I'm gonna equip it for now since I don't have a better weapon. There Seems we go. Appropriate for you. All right, I have Grandma's axe. Do you like it? Please don't hit me with okay. the axe. I won't. I promise. All right. So let's head into the lighthouse oh, look. here. I found things in the stump. I oh, gold. where was that? It was in the stump. I never knew that on. was in there. Aha. Take that gold. I have discovered secrets. You I could never, never knew imagine. that was there. That's crazy. Yeah, Grandma. It's fine. You can do it. Just get up on the pier. Get up. Uh, how do I get up on the pier? Um, you know, you'll find your way. Forward. There you go. So let's head into this lighthouse. I'm, I'm sure there's some good stuff in here. Okay, okay there's another granny in here. What don't don't pay her too much mind. This is all her stuff, so don't steal her. She'll be mad. Can I borrow? No, Excuse she'll be me, mad. Granny, may I borrow your stuff? Now, however, up here, I'm pretty sure she won't notice if we help ourselves to a thing or two. It's because she has poor hearing. Yeah. She's old. Now, wh when you're stealing stuff, you have to hold control so you're sneaking. Hat, hat, oh my gosh. I'm gonna get finger cramps. Yeah. Now, when you're holding control and I'm not around to ruin everything, you'll see a little icon next to your... See, oh, you see that icon that just appeared? What icon? Down here. There's an icon... Oh, you see the one that just appeared and disappeared? Oh. You see that? Yeah. What, when, you, when the icon is visible, that means no one can see you. Stop looking at me, Grandma. Sorry. So that book's expensive. <laughs> I want that book. Stop looking at me, Grandma. I'm not looking. So you can press space and you'll steal it. Oh, and look, this is a skill book. This gave you a point of unarmored. Cool. So I'm gonna I'm gonna read it as well, so I get I some take unarmored. Take it, or am I gonna get murdered? Oh, uh, I don't think anyone's here to see you, so you took it. Mm, bread. And there's some bread and some alcohol, mm, and then grief. Yep, and these barrels are empty. I took grief. There we go. Rest of this I'm not too interested in. I'm just gonna head back down. Grandma won't notice that we stole her book. Oh my god, I fell to my death. <laughs> oh god, you actually took a lot of damage. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Grandma, help. I'm injured. Oh, let's, let's get out of this lighthouse. You're a clumsy fool. I did I didn't think it would be that big a deal. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Fall damage is pretty bad can in this I get, game. Can I get better? Um, yeah, you can. Uh, careful, don't steal Granny's stuff. She'll get mad. Looking at it. Okay. Let me admire your stuff, Okay, you're free, you're free to admire it. I'm gonna head back into town. No. Nope. Right. Okay. So, I mean, you can heal by sleeping in a bed, or by you know potions and the usual nonsense, or by Fargoth's ring, which we have to steal back Fargoth, tonight. Fargoth, give me back your health. I'll die. Okay. Okay. So now that we have a little bit of stuff. Yes, I don't know where you went, man. Oh, I'll just head back into the center of town where all the buildings are. Is that a thing? Oh, it's raining. 
Oh, no. Okay. Oh, there you are. So let's Can't just. Strutting around. Um, he's a, he's he thinks he's hot shit, but he's just he's just a pig. He's just shit. He's just shit. Get <laughs> out of my way, sir. I want to try to sell this axe to a real. So I don't really want it. Uh, let's see if he'll give me seventy-five. He won't. Let's see if he'll give me sixty. Let's see if he'll give me fifty-five. Morgan. Give me fifty-five. Uh, the book, the book you just um, stole. Okay, I'll take fifty. Final offer. You run a hard bargain. Forty-eight. Fuck you, Aurel. I don't even like you. Fine. Forty-six. Damn. Okay. Now I want a weapon. When he gets to the point where he just gets mad and won't do it anymore. Um, his disposition goes down, but if you stop talking to him and oh. talk to him again, it'll it'll rise back up. Two hundred and thirty-seven money out of that book. I want to adjust my windows here. I normally have my. Uh, I should sell him also cup. And, uh, Let's see. So I'm gonna buy. I'm just gonna buy a quick, frickin', what's it called? Cup. No, I mean I'm gonna buy a club from him real quick. Iron club. I guess an iron club is fine. And I'm gonna buy a little bit of armor. So I'm medium armor. So I'm just gonna buy. My mercantile skill increased to eleven. You did it. You're better than I'm me. I'm a mercant. You're a mercant. I'm gonna buy this imperial curus. Persuasion. What's that about? Oh, that lets you adjust how he likes you or not. Um, probably not worth really Wait, doing can right I now. Admire him? You can, but it may or it may make things worse if he doesn't think you're genuine. Oh, I'm very genuine. Haha, <laughs> he told me. To leave. I told you. I am now combat granny. Do you like my looks? Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, it might be worth buying some light armor from him, since you have a lot of money now. I have a lot of money now. You do have that rusty blade, but you also have the option of buying, you know, a bow and some arrows from him, and also another short blade. What do I get? Oh, uh, apparel. Right, you can sort by. So, anything light armor is going to be good for you. So, just keep an eye on how much it costs uh, and its weight. Uh, next to weight, it shows a number and then what it classes at. So, that Nordic fur is light armor. I believe he also has some pieces of um, shit and armor, which is all the way on the left. Pieces of shit. What have I already got? I got shoes. You got clothes. No shirt. armor. Uh, boots. I guess boots are good. I think the Nordic stuff is better than the shit and stuff he has, which is the stuff he has on the left. Mm. Not 100% sure. Oh, and more when you Cousins. get... You, you can equip individual gloves, pauldrons, greaves. You have a lot more options than Oblivion and Skyrim. Chitin. Titan, whatever you want to call it. So just look at the armor rating, uh, and of course how much it costs, and the weight, and just kind of make a decision from oh, that. that stuff's better. Yeah. My dog is digging in his bed because I'm not paying attention to him. Yes, madame. Oh my gracious, yes. what did I do? What did you do? I don't know what I do. Uh, do it again. Uh, so the way it works is if you click it, it'll pop over to your inventory like you want to buy it, uh, and then while it's there, you can barter the price the same way you did when you're selling stuff. So once you have everything you want, you can adjust the price as you like. Okay. So this guy's only wearing one shoulder. He's stupid. You got my ear. Let's hear I got her ear. I have it. Uh, oh, so okay, you bought boots. Yeah. And then once you have some armor, you probably want to buy, you know, a weapon, a bow and arrow for you, or maybe you know, a short blade, depending on how you want to do Ooh, that. Individually. That's yep. silly. But it gives you a lot of room to customize, That's which I so like. So here we are. Yes. This oh. here is Musius. He has a ponytail. He thinks he's hot shit, but he wears his pants all the way up to his belly button. Oh, what an idiot. What a dummy. Uh, he can think he can walk away from me. I know yes. who you are. You're a nerd. You don't even like it here. Yes. Not at all. Yes. I'm just blowing this NPC, I'm sorry. Bullying? Bullying. Oh. <laughs> Big trip. Uh. Blue, blue Traveler's robe. I'm feeling like a gamer. <laughs> uh, what yeah, do you guys? Oh. You have some decent armor. So you should probably... You can equip it, and then you can probably buy a weapon. I'm gonna come in and take a look. See how it's doing. Don't look at me. I'm getting 
dress. There you are. You're looking cool now. I'm shy. There. Uh, you can't wear shoes and boots at the same time. Should I sell all my other little crap that I don't need? Only if you think it's worth selling. Like, if it's really cheap, it might not be worth it. Pants. These are dumb. We can find some more pants later. Um, for now, let's... You should... We should get a weapon, because we're going to have to head out into the wilderness uh, soon to fight things. Okay. So since you're... Me, so probably pick what... Oop, hit cancel. So probably pick a bow and bow, some arrows. A Looks bow. like he has chit and arrows. And if you want a better short blade, you can do that. But if not, you can stick with the rusty one you have for now. Am I blind? I don't see no bow. Um, I, th I th there, there it is. It is. It like a stick. Oh, yes, cool. and then the arrows are yeah. So you might as well grab the whole stack, honestly. I'm so rich. I can there buy you. whatever I want. Yeah. Should I buy anything else? If you really want a short blade, you can grab one, but we'll probably run into some more on the way out. Uh, I guess then if I can go to the back. I'll yeah, you have that, so it should be fine. So you can, you know. There you go. Nope. Oh, he's very stingy. He wants the very little there you go. that he offers. Okay. Right. And then Bye, just, jerk. And then make sure you have your bow and arrows equipped, both of them. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, same way as your armor. Just go into your menu and then just click it onto yourself. And don't forget to do the arrows, otherwise you won't have any arrows. Will the man get mad at me for having all my crap on me? Oh, there you go. So now you're oh, equipped. Okay. So we can head out and actually uh, do, do some adventure. Let's venture. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. There you are. Okay. So let, let's head out. Wait, it, show me what I look like. I oh, see sorry. You. There you are. Whoa, I look so cool. Now press F to take your bow out. Yeah. There you are. Now, one thing to keep in mind in this game... Um, when you shoot your arrow, if it misses, you can't yeah, pick it back up. Bunch of shit. I know. Alright, so let's head out in the town. Not in the town. Into the wilderness. Because it doesn't look like it's going to be night anytime I'm soon. I'm still terribly injured. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot. Let's let's sleep you. Sleep? Put me to sleep? I'm going to put you to sleep. No. Okay, so head over here. What? Um, just, just go in. I'm trying to see what the man said. Just follow me. Okay. I'm down here and sleep in this sleeping bag. Sleep on the floor. Yeah. And until healed. Until I'm healed. Now, in single player, that would also pass time. But since we're in like a multiplayer mod, it doesn't Can pass you time. Climb in the bed with me? No, I'm your Grammy. <laughs> Grammy, can't share a bed? Alright, so you're healed now. So let's head out into the wilderness now that we're finally equipped. I slept in my grandma's bed once. Was it smelly? No. Good. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oh no, I lost you. A run I'm over here. There you go, there's only one yeah. door. I'm <laughs> Is this it? Yes. <laughs> there you go, just keep going. The only door. <laughs> that guy? No, the only door. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh. All, right. All right, you're back out here. Okay. What is this? Oh let's no, it's Fargoth. Fargoth. What's he doing over here? I'm He's an idiot. Wandering around being an idiot. All right, so let's head out. Okay. Come with me. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna just fight some things. Hello, everybody. Hello. All right, so let's head over here, this direction. I'll let you walk in front of me. So I get horribly injured? No, so you get to look at everything. I'm looking there at you, go. you can run a little bit. No. I've, I've adjusted the fatigue so it's not as bad, the running. Well, I want to leisurely stroll, damn it. If you want. It's over here. Dirt. Yeah, there's some dirt or some mud. Oh, uh, it's yeah. just wet dirt. Mud is wet, wet dirt. You find anything cool over there? No. Here is a cool place. Where is it? I'm climbing into this dirt. You're gonna get dirty! I'm stomping around. Ew, did you find anything? Not is yet. it just some mushrooms? I found some mushrooms. Why are you eating mushrooms? I can, I'm grandma. Grandmas aren't allowed to do mushrooms. It's true. Why do you head over there? Huh? Head over oh. there. Where? Where I'm pointing. Oh, okay. I'm going! Get that book. I'm getting a random book I found. It's all wet. Um, Wait a second. I'm gonna read the book. Where's? Oh. Huh. Huh. That's weird. Wait a minute. There's a dead body under this book. There you go. Like, what? Why is it on your screen? I don't have a I dead body. I wanted you to see I just him. I found a book. 
Anyway. Okay, so in the normal game, when you get here and you approach this book, suddenly you hear a loud scream. I did hear a loud scream. And then this guy drops from the sky and dies. Oh, I didn't get to see that. I just saw the book. Shit. Well, this oh, guy well. dropped from the sky and died. He's dead. This is his journal if you want to read it. <laughs> I believe I may have found the correct formula for the spell I am developing. With it, I will be able to travel great distances without the need to pay others for the service. If all goes well, I will test out the new spell tomorrow. I believe I have worked out all the possible complications. It will allow me to leap great distances, covering many hundreds of miles. Never before has one been able to travel in this manner, vaulting from the ground, sailing through the sky, all without that terrible disorientation of the spell of flying. The time is almost upon me. Oops, I forgot to finish reading. <laughs> I think he died. Oh, it's in your inventory, I think. Yeah. Because you press Look, take. there's no body. Yeah. That's weird. He's just not there. Oh, he's on my screen. Um... Am okay. I stumping all over him and I don't see it? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm standing in his corpse and I can't even see it. Well, let me just drop his stuff Oh, next that's to us. what's going on. He glitched. He's in the sky. Heck. Well, that's a weird-ass glitch. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no. He's naked in the sky. <laughs> so I dropped all his stuff oh on the floor now. If you oh, my God. <laughs> so on Syncope's screen, on Syncope's screen, Tariel is in the sky naked. He's naked in and the dead. sky. But here's all oh his my clothes. god, there's also feet! No, I dropped his stuff here. Ooh. So, you can pick if you want. He dropped a cool hat and a, uh, a sword. He's floating corpse. Yeah, so you can take take what you want from here. Those are his scrolls he was talking about in his journal. You might want to be careful with those if you consider using them. <laughs> cool. Because, judging by his fate, they, they don't work too well. They work great, it's just he didn't consider that it's a bad idea to go flying through the air. I guess so. Like a big dungus. Yeah. Oh, a sword. Yeah, and that's a magical sword. Ooh, and he a has money. His money, a hat, and Ooh, some shoes. Hat. And that hat's light armor, so you can actually it actually helps you. And those are some extravagant shoes, which are nice. Okay. I recommend equipping his hat for the I'm extra little wear, bit of armor. I'm gonna wear the funny hat. Let's see how that hat looks. There you go. You look like a fucking idiot. I look like... <laughs> I mean, that's how I look when I wear hats in general. Yeah. Usually they have animal faces on them. Right. That was a good thing to come uh, across. You didn't funny prank me? What were you going to funny prank me I was going to have you approach the book and have the guy scream and fall on you. But it didn't work because he's in the sky forever. I'm very upset about this. He's in the sky forever. Is there a way I could take a screenshot so people um, can press see him? Print screen. Just print screen by itself, yep. or do I have to push something else? I don't know I how your I don't know how your keyboard works. Nope, oh, that's airplane, airplane mode. Turn it off, Jesus. <laughs> that's not press, how I press, it, press it without pressing FN. Hmm. But that's usually how you get the, the do it anyway. Part it didn't work. It did. Oh. Oh. I thought that was how. Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. It's F12. I don't know why they do F12. that. There you go. Did it work? Yeah, the, the the game like stopped for a moment. So it was like, it was good. Okay. Okay. So over here, let's go look. I think there's something else for us to find. Where am I going? Here, follow Grammy. <laughs> okay. So I think there's another dead boy for us to find. Another dead boyfriend. Another dead boyfriend. All your boyfriends die. Shh, don't say that. Oh, no. Where is it? I believe it's in this direction. I mean, it'll be true one day, but... It's true. Not true right now. Not yet. I jumped too much. I drained all my fatigue. Granny's getting tired. Don't There's a mud scream. crab! Can we we, scream we have it? to assault it. How do I fight? Press F to get your thing out and then click to attack. Yep. Things out. Looks like a bloated tick. It does. It's pretty gross. Disgusting. You did it! He's dead. He has nothing on him, even. Give me back my shit. Give it to me. Alright. Oh, crack, syncope, I found the dead boy. Where's the dead boy? He's over here. Is he okay? No, he's dead. Ah, shit. <laughs> no. Watch out, there's a bug. He's just pretending. There's a deadly- two deadly bugs! He just wants to trick the bugs into thinking he's dead. That's a good strategy. Can you just shoot me? No, I don't think I did. Oh, crack. That's fine. I'm shooting, I'm shooting these shitty little men. I'm just gonna hit them with my, my deadly- Oh, but gracious. They're double teaming me. I'm very mad. Please don't double team grandma. <laughs> that's, that's, that's something else. That's 
very rude. There we go. They're dead. Dispose of corpse. Are we just gonna leave the corpses laying around? Eh, I'm, it's not my job. Disposed. I'm not a, a clean man. You're a filth man. A filth man. Hi, Ambrosia. It's Ambrosia here. Hello, Ambrosia. Yes. So here's the dead boy. No, that's mushrooms. You can't do mushrooms. You can, but here's a dead boy. Is he okay? No, he's dead. <laughs> he looks kind of funny. Look at his face. Mm. So on his body, he has 200 gold, a tax record, and some clothing. He's mad about being dead. Probably. So, I'm going to take his tax record. According to this, everyone paid uh, their taxes except for Fargoth and some other losers. So that's a problem. Someone killed a tax man. We have to go report this to the authorities. The port authorities. The port authorities. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to tell the cops. I'm going to be a snitch. Snitch. Snitch is It was good. me. Don't tell him. Snitches get stitches. Don't do it. I was the one who killed him. Okay, well, I'm going to kill this mud crab. He made me mad. Okay. You know what I'm going to do before I kill this mud crab? Watch me kill the mud crab. Oh, I guess we can do that. Let's watch Syncope kill a mud crab. Mud crab. You're dead to me. You're doing it. You're killing one mud crab. Maybe oh, I you actually did it. That wasn't very hard. No, well, mud crabs aren't very hard. Oh, you, there's a prize on this one. Mud crabs are very hard. Delicious meat. I'm gonna eat the meat. I was just heading to town. You're walking on water like a genius. Walking on water, whoa. That's <laughs> how that song goes. I walk on water, whoa. I am the Christ. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. I am the Christ. You want something? I am. Fun? Now, I'm not going to tell this cop, because I don't trust him. He's probably crooked. I'm going to tell the guy in the office when he first came in. He seems trustworthy. Do you know that I'm crooked? Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, let's head on in. I'm going to snitch. I'm going to snitch so hard. I ran too much. Oh. Fark off, fark off, you nerd. Don't be mean to fark off. Where'd you go? I went through the doors. There's too many doors. There it is. Can you ask your question quickly? All right. Bad news, sir. The murder of pr pr Processus Vitalius. Prometheus. Murdered. What a waste. Processus was a good man. I had been wondering why we hadn't heard from him in a few days. Still, there are dangerous times we live in, and these sorts of things will happen. Did you happen to find the tax money he collected? I hate to be so callous, but I do have a job to do. Think, but you have a tax money. <laughs> well... You're, you don't. Exactly. Talk to him. Give him no. the money. It's my tax money, bitch. It belongs to me. I tell him I don't have the money anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You've already spent it. That's not good to hear. That was imperial money after all. You'd do well to get the money and return it to me. Sink, can you give him the money? <laughs> he won't let me. He doesn't want it. Say, no, talk to him and say murder of... Murder of... There you go. Potassium. Good to see you were able to recover the- Hey, he didn't even give me the choice. He just <laughs> took it away from me. Since I've proven trustworthy, here's something I might be interested in. He said, I'd like to see the murderer of Processus punished. Killing an emperor's tax collector is punishable by death. Find his murderer, bring him to justice, and the census and excise office will pay you 500 septums. There we go. So we're going to get more money. Is septums like money? Yes, that's the goal. So, so we're going to get more money than the money we just gave him. Look at this a very pretty flag. It's the Skyrim flag. Oh, I didn't know they invented Skyrim in Morrowind. They did. They predicted it. Oh, no. They well, knew it was coming. So let's go find the moiterer. Where are you? I'm through the door. Which door? All of them. Oh, what is this, what is this, this about? Meat? I mean, if you want, then I don't know why you would. I'm hungry. Oh, okay. Fork off his whistling. That's a napkin. I want his folded cloth. <laughs> Which door is it? The, the, what, that, the, not that one. This, this that one, one. yes. Okay. okay, so let's go find the murderer. Why don't we just frame Fargoth? That would be great, but we we still need to to get his ring back. We can get his ring back after he's been executed. Oh, that's a good point. So I don't know why, but I have a feeling the murderer is in here, and it's not because I played the game a hundred times. Excuse me. Now, does he look like a murderer, do you think of me? I think if you say yes, then you're being uh, a little bit racist. Oh, no. 
That's what you want. I mean, he's nothing wrong with him. Hello. What do I want? Are you gonna ask him about I the want murder? I to persuade you to give me your money. Well, if you want to ask him about the murder, that's fine. I'm just gonna have my club out. I'm going to admire him. Oh, he didn't like that. How, he doesn't like being admired. Oh, no. I'm going to intimidate him. <laughs> At least ask him <laughs> about the murder first. No. What did he say? I said, hi, who's the get dead guy? He said, that Fetcher, you're damn right I did him in, and a good thing, too. He was skimming a load of money from all of us honest people, overcharging us on our taxes and keeping the difference for himself. He was always flaunting his money around, showing off his new clothes and jewels. So he killed the bastard and left his body out there to rot with all his ill-begotten gold still on him. Aw, what a nice guy. So what do you want to do? We have two options now in the, in the red. We can either... We can forgive him or we can kill him for, for killing a man. Uh, well, if I want money, we have to kill him. That's okay? true. So, so remember, if, if you say you're going to kill him, he's going to try to kill us. So we have to double team him. Okay. So if you're ready, let's, hit, the, hit the option. Let's kill the man. Summon a ghost. Okay, exit and start fighting. Oh my gracious. I summoned a ghost. a ghost. I summoned that ghost. He's my buddy. I'm shooting him in the butt. There we go. You are bad. You are a bad murderer. You are a bad man. You are a bad man. Mr. Murderer. Hey, get out of the way. I'm trying to murder this guy. Help, my ghost is in the way. <laughs> you shoot your ghost. Oh, help! He peed on me out! <laughs> he peed on you? No, he, 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 he knocked me on the floor. He's peeing on you. Oh, good. He's punching my ghost. You can't He's punch gonna... a ghost, you silly man. You can if you're strong enough. He's so powerful. He's like Popeye. He's smart enough person. You could be on whatever ghost you want. He's half dead. I can't believe he's, he's taking two of us and a ghost to fight him. Well, I'm not trying very hard. Though. Try harder. <laughs> what if I run out of bullets? Then we'll buy more. Oh, okay. Get out of the way. I keep hitting you. I can't control my ghost. Your ghost is harassing me. Well, my ghost has left, and he's punching my butt. Can you please help me? I'm shooting him. I'm going him. to die. I'm shooting him. Oh. Shoot him more! I'm shooting him as much as I can. Oh, gosh. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> I'm in big trouble. Your ghost is in my way. He's killing Grandma. Grandma, get out of the way so you stop dying. <laughs> I think you're shooting me, actually. Yeah, I know. You're in the way. You're Don't dead. shoot him. Get your dumb corpse out of I'm my gonna face. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's dying! <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much what grandmas do. We did it! Ah, oh. oh, man, I wasted oh. a perfectly good arrow. And he Can't had Taxman's ring on him. Ah, oh, sweet. I'm taking it. It's mine now. Gold. Hey, that's my gold. Oh, he had a belt. I can finally hey, keep my pants those up. those are mine. Give them back. Not everything belongs to everything you. Everything belongs to me. Oh, there's an expensive book here. I'm the Taxman now. Um, stop taking all the good things, they're for me. Oh. You can have this funny, uh, messed up way of saying marshmallow. I don't. I don't want it. Marshmallow. I mean, here's, here's the book. It's very valuable. You can take everything out of me. No, there was nothing good in there, just a bottle. Fine, take me. Dance in fire. I learned how to mercantile from Good. this. That's a big book. It is a book. There we go. Alright, now we can... Actually, I'm going to sleep in his bed, because I'm almost I dead. I want to sleep in his bed. I'm sleeping in it first. I want to sleep in it also. <sighs> oh shit! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh no, why am I get getting murdered? Open it! Okay, oh. that was a Dark Brotherhood assassin. Why are they assassinating me? We're just gonna leave him in there. We can't ever go back in there. There's an assassin now. Why am I being assassinated? What did I do? <laughs> Shit. What have I done to deserve this cool fate? Let's go to the lighthouse. No, I'm sad. I wanted to sleep in a bed. We'll find I'm another not... bed. That that bed is... We can never go back there until later in the game now. Never until later. It's not the same. There's a very powerful assassin in there. We you just have to... weenies could have fought that assassin. No, we couldn't. We could not. Rockhawk almost died My, to some dork. I have nine hit points now. I can't... I could not have fought him. Okay. Rockhawk almost died because his ghost got in the way. Shit, she doesn't have a bed. Ugh. Give me a bed or I'll be dead. Go in here. I guess I can go back to the census office and sleep I'm there. Going up here. That's fine. Go up there and keep an eye on Fargoth. I'm gonna sleep in the fire. It's fine. Uh, look, look out at the swamp and Where see if Fargoth gets sneaky. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just keep an eye there. I'm gonna try to find a bed to sleep in. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Oh man. Oh, God, man. Where are you? He's he's gonna do a sneak. There it's the time of day for him to sneak. It's almost. Okay, I'm fully healed. I'm gonna catch up with you so we can watch Farbot. Mm -hmm. We can sneak from Farbot and look at him do things. Okay, almost there. Somebody's hopping around like an idiot. It's me. Is that you? It's me. My acrobatic skill went up. Is that what's going on? Yeah. I saw some dumbass bouncing around. It was you. It was me. Hey, listen, I'm trying to look over there. Don't start spinning me around. Alright, I'm back. Hoo wee. Alright, so let's see if Fargoth starts doing sneaky things. I hope he does. How will I know which one's Fargoth? Because he's the one who'll be sneaking around like a motherfucker. Mm. So let's just just wait here and we'll see. So Syncope, how was uh how was the convention you went to recently? It was okay. One person found me. Oh. They told me they were gonna find me and then they did. They did it. Did they harm you? No, they were very, very nice. That was good. Yeah, it was nice. Did you see any cool stuff there? Uh, just a bunch of nerd shit. Oh man, that's I funny. got to meet Jab, who's pretty cool. Oh boy, did you see the angry video game turd? Nah, all the guys who people like to see weren't there at the time. Oh, that's lame. I think they were sleepy. Why didn't they wake up? Like, uh... All the, well, I'm glad, because I don't really care about... Oh, uh, like, like, uh... Like, Vinny was supposed to be there, and he right. was not. Well, he's kind of lazy, so that makes sense. He's probably asleep. Probably. Listen, I'm trying to look. Don't freaking spin around in a circle with me. I hope Fargoth's quest isn't broken in multiplayer. That'd be funny. That would suck if we wait up here all night. I waited here for 15, 16 years to solve, resolve this situation. Nice. What? It, can I shoot him with an arrow? <laughs> no, that's illegal. When he sneaks around, I'll shoot him. No. That'll learn him. Tell you what, while you're waiting Teach up here, him a lesson. I want to see if I can get a closer eye on him. Yeah, he'll see you. I'll be very sneaky. He'll catch you. He's dumb. He won't care. <laughs> See me, I'm, I'm a sneaky brain. There we go. I'm gonna be a little sneaker. Be a little sneaker. You're hopping around like a dumbass. Now Fargoth is just standing. Oh, wait! Fargoth is sneaking! I don't see him. Well, it, he's, he's standing in place, but he's sneaking. I don't see any sneaky standers. Shit. Anybody being sneaky That's because he's, he's he's just standing in place in the wrong spot. Fargoth, you idiot! You're supposed to do things. I'm gonna check to see if maybe you don't have free will, dumbass. Maybe his stuff isn't his his thing. It's not okay. So so maybe he doesn't know how to sneak right. Damn it, Fargoth! Fargoth, you dumb son of a bitch. Right, I'm gonna get upstairs and maybe he'll maybe he'll think it's safe to sneak again. But he's doing part of his job. He's he's sneaking, he's just not moving while he's sneaking. He? He's over by the census office. Where's that? Um, where we where we uh, first were born. Where I was born? Yes. I was born in a census office. That's true. Do we kill Cinco to spare Fargoth or let her be? Well, no. Why would we kill me? What do you mean? I don't know if Fargoth is going to do anything. Maybe we need to talk to him. No, he'll, he'll, he'll get suspicious. We need to talk to him first and then he'll get nervous so he runs to his little hidey hole. What if he gets nervous and he runs home? That'd be cute. <laughs> <laughs> Fargoth is not cute. Oh yeah. I forgot. Oh hmm. uh, yeah. I'm gonna go see what Fargoth is doing. He's who, still sneaky. Who do you like more, Beavis or Butthead? Probably Beavis. Why do you like Beavis more? He is funny. <laughs> see, there he is. He's sneaking right there. Fargoth? What, what is it? Are you following me? Leave me alone. Kick him in the butt. Fargoth, go. Go do things. Fargoth, go do things. This is like our dog. He's just looking dog, at Dog, go away. Just go. Let me go check if maybe he put his stuff in here already. Maybe he did. Maybe he just went too busy didn't. being stupid. It's empty. Fargoth, you slut, why didn't you move? Fargoth, you big dunk. 
Let me go see what time the game thinks it is. What time is it game? Let's see. Let me get out of this bed. It's 12 a.m. He hasn't moved by now. I don't think he is. Fargoth is gonna just have to keep his ring. I want it. I know, but what can we do? I want it. It's too late. He's stuck. He will never move again. I'm gonna shoot him. Don't. It's illegal. But he's being bad. The cops will arrest you. Ask him. Ask him to show you something. He won't. He won't let me talk to him. Persuade him to not be an idiot. I can't. He, won't. he only says goodbye to me. <laughs> well, Sinka, we're gonna have to what, abandon Fargo for What now. if we go in the building somewhere for a little bit? Oh, oh he's moving! Shit! I'm running away! Oh. Shit, I'm heading up there with you. Oh. Um, is he moving? Yes. Oh, I see him. Now he's being an idiot. Oh. Oh, He's gosh. walking like he's got a limp. No, that's just sneaky. No one can see him. I can see him. No, he's I'm going to shoot him with an Don't arrow. Don't shoot him. You'll go I'm to jail. I'm going to shoot him. No. I'm going to shoot him. Oh, okay, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. I'm going to shoot his dumb ass. Okay, he's doing sneaks. Oh. He's being a doofus. He's being a little sneaker. I think he's not even going in the right direction. He's checking to make sure no one's watching. Everybody's watching. There's like three people there. It's okay. He just he, he just took his torch out, but no one can see him. If you take your torch out, people can see. It's idiot. fine. He's crouched down like six inches. God, you're so fucking dumb. No, he, he's There's like, like a girl he's right ducked there. his head like three inches. No one can see him. There's like a girl with eyes. He's, he's moved his eyebrows down like two millimeters. No one can see him. <laughs> oh, he's going in the water. His pants are wet. He, he, he has moist pants. He's looking at a stump. You know how to be sneaky? Moisten your pants. It's true, it works. So if you pee yourself, after you can sneak mm. around. <laughs> okay, he did it. Let's go steal his shit. Let's go shoot him. No, Let's we, go we're stealing his, his shit. Let's go kick his dick. <laughs> Not how, no, you can't kick, kick people in the, in the dick. dick in this game. I mean, you can if you want. I mean, you try. No, there's no kicking. Why don't you believe in yourself? I don't believe in kicks. Kicks weren't invented yet. Oh my god, I fell. Be careful, oh, I'm fine. Die for her. Okay, here we go. Let's go steal his shit. Too slow. But I forget what you button to do. <laughs> Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see what's in Fargo's hollow tree. I want to look in his hole. Ew. Let me look in his hole. No. Let me look in his hole. Do I have a, have a peek? I want to peek. And guess what's in there? I want to peek inside his hole. It's his ring and a bunch of gold. Yeah, bitch, that's my gold now. I'm taking this this shit Lock too. Pick. Yeah. Now here's a trick to this quest, Syncope. Yeah. If we give this gold back to the to that uh, Nord in the bar, he's uh -huh. gonna give us less gold in return. So we're just never gonna give this back to him. Uh, okay. This is our goods. Hey Fargoth. Hey. What you doing? Um, what you doing? I didn't there, take anything from what you. What you doing? Hole? I didn't take anything. Oh, there you go. Now we I have the ring back. It. We did it. We did it. We're criminals. We're, we're bad we're boys. Terrible. We're terrible people. We are monsters. Fuck off, guard man. All right. Now All let's right. head out into the wilderness. So. Our quest will take us to Balmora, where we have to give the package to, to Nikias Casadas. So go, let's go ahead and check these signs and see which way Balmora Nikias is. Nikias Casada. Balmora is yeah, that okay. way. So here we go. We're going somewhere. Now there's a. Oh no! I I sh oh. do I not need to buy more arrows? How many do you have? Probably not a lot. Check. Uh, right click. Uh, you have 60. I 60 think that'll last us. Many. That'll last us. I used that all up on fighting two crabs and a mean man. We'll avoid the uh, crabs. We'll avoid so mean mans. This silt strider could take us directly to Balmora, but I never do that. I always walk. It's well, not that far. It's just two towns away. This little says Senko gets to meet the filthy shirtless crack addict yeah. who stole all our hearts. Is he talking about you? No, it's Caius. Now, Caius? Caius, yeah. Now, over there is a, uh, a bandit cave. I don't know if we want to go in there. Abandoned cave. Yeah, I don't know if we want to go in there or not. Is that what this is? Yeah, there's bad boys in there. Do they hurt me? Yes. Oh, then I don't want to go in Okay, maybe we'll come back later we'll when, we, back when, when we're more powerful. Now, I wish we had a torch, but we don't. So, maybe we'll find one. Maybe we'll see a torch. So, we're, we're just having a good old jog on our way to Belmore. Syncopy, what kind of cool stuff did you see at the convention? Um, I saw lots of uh, nerds. Oh, were they cool? No. Then why'd you say nerds when they asked what cool stuff you saw? Uh, I forgot. Oh. I saw um, 
a sign okay. that said that Boogie would be there. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> Luckily, uh, it was past the time when it said he'd be there, so oh, good. I, I was safe. I'm, gl I'm glad you didn't have to see him. I was safe. You're safe. Um, I time. saw... Help, there's a rat! There's this rat that I've heard so much about. He's biting my ankle. Little ankle boy. You little ankle biter. How do I change perspective? I don't know. Uh, like tab. Tab? Yeah. It's not working. Tap it once. Oh, but, oh okay. It's because I have oh, an arrow thingy. How do I undo this? Um, I, just I don't think you can. Fuck. <laughs> Goodbye, arrow. Fuck you. That rat has meat. Give me your meat. Oh, my glasses are all smuggy. Give me your shitty rat meat right now. Uh, my glasses are all smuggy. There we go. Okay. So here we go. Belmora is... I'm changing my weapon now. I don't want to be this funny boy anymore. I'm looking for someone to see him. We'll come across him later. Iron dagger. Ah! I'm sorry. What the heck did you just flip out for? My glasses are pissing me off. Well, get over it. Okay. All right, let's head to Belmar. So that's going to be over this way. Now, before we get to Belmora, we're going to stop by Pel Pelagiad. How Pe come Pelagiad. I keep auto running? Oh, you probably have caps lock on. I don't. Caps lock toggles it. So if it's if you're auto running, just tap caps lock and you won't auto run anymore. It's not working. The oh thing, man, but now I'm on caps lock. Yeah, that happens happen sometimes where he gets desynced. A bunch of dumb stupid. What a load of tards! Oh, there you go. You're, you're all the way over there. It's because like I was trying not to run so much. Oh. It was making me tired. Why are you so tired? Because I worked all day. Oh. All right, so here we go. This is Pelagiad. This is the first town we see along our way to Belmora. How so come we'll I just... don't? How come I don't build my skill by jumping around? You do. It's just you know it's gonna take some time before it actually happens. So here we are. We'll, we'll stop in here, see if there's any cool stuff we want, and just hang out. Sounds like you. <laughs> Here's a tavern. I can just check it. The tavern. I'm trying to remember what I saw. I saw um, a lot of Pokemon plushies that were cool. Oh, were any of them weird looking? Yeah. Did any of them look not correct? Uh, there was a really gross big Mario. I don't know if how I can help was you, it? but I'll yeah, try. Pretty, you know how like there's always like this one table where someone's like selling their filthy old toys they don't want yes. anymore, and it's like going to Goodwill. Yeah. Yeah. It was that. Uh, oh. Like all these like dirty old Mario plushes. Did anyone put Mario's head in a vice grip? Oh, look at this kitty cat. Hello. Oh, that's a Nazi. She she likes um she likes thieves. I think she's one of the boys. I wanted so. I wanted to buy the big Mario, but I didn't have enough money for the big Mario. Where did you go? What are you doing? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Hello. Who's this? This person offers services, but we're not in their services. guild, so they won't offer us anything. Like, blowjobs? What? No. Oh. What's wrong with you? What kind of services? Uh, bartering and something else. I have to now, uh, tip, if you talk to people while your weapon is out, they'll yes. like you less. Oh. So a little tip. Why well, won't they be impressed with my cool weapon? What is it? Because they'll think you're a jerk. Oh, but I'm so cool. This, this tavern stinks. What's in this man? What's in this lady? Don't explore in here. I will explore in here. Right, I'm leaving this tavern. I'm going to check out the shops. So, so there's both a trader and an armorer. Goodbye, lady. Where'd so you go? I went. I left the tavern. What's your story? Okay. So out here, there's two shops we can check out. So here's a trader for general goods and an armorer for weapons and armor. Oh. So I'll let you check out the trader. I'm going to check out the armor because I don't have... I have 12 gold. I think I let you steal all the good shit. I know. I'm cool. I need to stop doing that. No, I'm cool. Yes? You see, I'm very persuasive and I persuaded you. It's my sparkling personality. You let me have shit. Is that what you call that? I'm going to sell the scrolls of fun flight. Is if, that the plan? If you want. I mean, would you know. I use them for any reason? I usually just hold on to them as a keepsake and put them in my house. For That's it. dumb. Why don't you sell them? They're worth money, idiot. It's up to you. You okay. have them now. Guess I'll sell these shoes that I don't need anymore. Shoot, here, we'll have, here I was thinking I'd buy some stuff. Oh, shoes is for idiots. Is there any 
Thank Did you. I sell Processus's ring? Um, if you want, uh, I normally keep quest stuff and I like and I display it in my house. Okay, but... you're just like a hoarder. Yes. That's fucked up, dude. Use it as your intervention. No, I'm not. Can I sell Journal of Tarheel? Um, I mean that. You, you didn't get the same answer every time. I don't have a house. <laughs> we we can find. We can get one. I'm not like I'm no, gonna if, I'm it, gonna run it, out of space to carry shit. You can sell it if you'd like. It's you. It's just your loot. It's my loot, and I'll sell it if I want to. And it's my loot, and I'll toot. Like, if are I you loot. just like neurotic? You won't get rid of any of this shit. Pretty much. If it's quest stuff, I usually hold on to it. Just to show off. It's just a display in my house that I have cool stuff. <laughs> Nobody comes to your house. I can't sell a book. Don't tell anyone. I still have another book. Don't tell me. Oh, hi, guard. Hi, how's it going? Nothing happening up here. Just hanging out. Oh, boy, I can't wait to steal more literature. Oh, yeah. Stop stealing literature. I don't want it. Shirts aren't literature. Oh, that's a guard. Hey, guard, I'm not doing anything. That's not how whistling works, I guess. You whistle like my little sister did when she was a baby. <laughs> that's not whistling. Dick has dicky money. Give me money, dick. There we go. Alright, I stole some goods from him, and I'm going to sell them with the guy next door. Give me money. I'm selling his goods to his neighbor. He'll be very mad. Give me money. He's not giving it to me. He's probably upset because he's trying to rip them off. I'm not. He's ripping me off. All my stuff is worth way more than he wants to give me. I know. He's bad. Dickhead. The grandmas seem to last longer, he said. Honestly, don't know what he said. Goodbye, jerkhead. All right, where am I going? Um, I I just went to the store next door, which is the armor. Where am I? Where am I? Over here. Um, it's daytime. They're it leaving is. party. Ooh. Party during the day. There we go. I have fifty-nine gold. I should have never let you take that stuff. <laughs> All right, I'm repair. Oh yeah, he can repair your goods if they're broken, but if your stuff is minimally broken, you might as well like I'm gonna do it because it's gonna cost two gold and I'm rich. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't have Thanks been so Thanks for the poor. subs, XLDS. If you didn't want to be so poor, maybe you should have been rich like me. Oh, you know, just, just stop being poor, idiot. Yeah, dumbass. Yeah, you stupid fuck. You fucking idiot. Dumb fuckhead. You lazy Dumb piece of shit. Butthole. Asshole. <laughs> and I kick you on the floor and I start kicking you. <laughs> You heard me. I kick you to the floor and I start kicking you. You couldn't kick me if you tried. Oh, okay. Adventure uh, um, is it, have you ever kicked somebody story? and they grabbed your foot and pulled you away? No, because I've never had to seriously kick a man. you never kicked a man? Not on purpose. Have you ever kicked a little girl? Um, not that I can remember. You think you remember kicking a little girl? That's fucked up, dude. Well, maybe if I don't remember, it didn't happen. Mm. If it did, if... You know, I wish that was how things were. That would be great. If I don't remember. That'd be so convenient. Happen. I'm lost. I'm lost. Help. Why don't you just be unlost now? All this stuff sucks. None of this is any good. Oh, here's the exit. This is all trash. All right, this fort blows. This is all trash yeah. stuff. Okay, well, if you don't need any of it, we'll just continue on to Belmora. Uh, May the wind oh, yeah. be on your back. Arrows. Oh, yeah. We can buy some arrows if we want. Arrows are cool. Arrows are cool. Do I need some... Can I get a crossbow? Speak freely, friend. Yeah, but... Uh, they um, they're selling bolts, but they're not selling crossbows. I think someone, someone bought their crossbow. Uh, oh, thank you, XLDS. Thank you for subscribing. You are XLDS. also cool yes. and kicking ass. Uh, hit Tonto. Who's sniffing in my ear? Is that you? Oh, I never sniffed in my life. Quit sniffing in my ear. Not a sniffer. <laughs> Fucking sniffer. Silver dagger. Ooh. I'm gonna buy a silver dagger. You can if you want. Who's gonna stop you? Uh, silver short sword. Maybe. I'm cool. I can do whatever I want. This man 
doesn't know that I'm Rob in her basement. Rob this. <laughs> I am robbing this man's basement. Can I make them like me more by overpaying for shit? Um. Will that work? I don't think so. Hello, sir. I was not just robbing your basement. Bye. What a dumbass. Oh, my ass. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. All right. Let's see. Do you ever, like, be yeah. playing video games and then you can't feel your hands anymore? Yeah. I know what that's Is like. Is that a disease? No, it's just Damn it. having bad hands. Stop it, you dumb hole. I wanted to Hello, touch Hello, I am the shop stuff. owner now. I wanted to oh, touch okay. you. You're not the shop owner. I'll kick your Sorry, ass. I thought I was the shop it's owner. It's illegal to pretend to be a shop owner. Is it? Yeah. What law does it's it break? It's called fraud. It's called fraud? It's called fraud. Oh, no. Yeah, you're stealing an identity, aren't you? It's my identity now. No, it's not your identity. That's fine. You got what you wanted from him? Yeah, I have to steal my thing. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Give me two gold for that. Oh, I can't <laughs> All right. I don't know. Let's head go to back. Balmora. Let's go to. Let's go to Balmora. I can't figure out how to get out of this place. <laughs> it's through the door. There we go. All right, here we go. All right. Well, why are you just walking forward? How could you say such mean things about my Beavis and Butthead hands? There you go. Let's go. It's time to travel. Watch out for this man. Who's this man? He's just some guy. Oh, I thought he was a fish man. No, oh, he's just a man. All right, so we gotta hit the road. Uh, it's a little longer from here to Belmora, but it's not gonna be so terrible. We are well equipped. Uh, well, you're well equipped, <laughs> and we're gonna go. If you wanted something, I could have bought it for you. I'm just going to summon a ghost. I could be your sugar daddy. Would you I, like that? I couldn't summon the ghost. Would you like that? No. No? I would not. That's such a good deal. Why? I summoned a dagger. Do you like it? I can't see it. That's fine. Why are you summoning daggers, you idiot? To enhance my conjuration skill. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. I wasn't paying attention to the Don't sign. stab me with your dagger. Okay, this is the right way. Okay, let's go. How do you get a house? Um, you can just go somewhere that's uninhabited and make it your house. And can I, I murder people and steal their house? Technically, yeah. But I already have a place in mind in Belmora. Does it really be your house? Or do you just, like, pretend it's your house? You pretty much just pretend. <laughs> that's dumb. There's an egg mine over there, <laughs> but we're on a mission to Belmora. Egg mine? Yeah. You mine eggs in there. That doesn't make any sense. Well, that's life. I have to deal with it. Life. I'm waiting for you so I can bring back some fatigue. I'm trying to get better at life. You're doing it. You're it's doing great. Like, it's not where I hear screaming. Where? I don't Little hear it. The boys are screaming in my ears. Oh, well, I don't hear it. Let's go. That means you're weak. If you hear it and I don't, that means it doesn't matter. What? There you go. There's a lady here on the road. I hear a lot of things you don't, and they're real. Oh, no. Someone abandoned their lady. Remember that time I needed to sleep so I could go to work? Yeah. But you were busy playing that dumb yeah. banjo noise 600 times? Yeah, that was pretty funny. <laughs> Talking to this lady. Begging your pardon, have you seen a bandit nearby? I must find him. Oh, no. Goodbye. Uh, no, ask her about the <laughs> bandit. Yes, I was just walking along here, minding my own business. Suddenly, a bandit jumped at me from behind. He was a dark elf, a strong, dashing dark elf. He didn't harm me in any way, although he did take my jewels. He was quite gentle, and he talked to me for what seemed like forever. Jewels. What's that? Oh, never mind the jewels. I just want to find the bandit again. He was charming and funny, and I simply must see him again. His name? Nelos. Nelos Onmar. A name that will stay on my lips for eternity. This woman's messed up. Perhaps you can find him for me? Please, I cannot live without knowing if he could ever love me. I have nothing to offer you in return, but could you not help me for the sake of love? 
This woman is mentally messed up. I mean, love will do that to you. <laughs> well, that's... Uh, I will try to find this man. I like useless quests. We might as well. She's got a very long forehead. Yeah, a very long life. Mari's left glove. More Mari. Alright, so thank you. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. Goodbye. He mentioned something about having to head north, so I imagine he might be found. In oh, you'll try? Thank you so. I'm sure you'll be able to find him. He mentioned something about having to head north, so I imagine he might have fa be found in Pelagiad. Please, if you find him, give him this glove for me as a token of my love. I'm certain he will want to find me again. Oh, no, yeah. You idiot, you dumbass, so, you stupid <laughs> fucker. So the next okay. time we're in Pelagia, Pel Pel we'll give, we'll find Nellis and give him a glove. But in the meantime, we're going to Balmora. Where'd all my magic go? Oh, no. <laughs> you hear that, fellas? All you gotta do to get a girl is rob them. <laughs> it's a very good strategy. Don't rob girls. They but, don't like it. But what if they do? They don't. But she liked it. She was an idiot. <laughs> yeah. You can't trust that they'll be stupid like that one. So remember to only rob stupid people. Yeah, only rob dumb girls. Yeah, they'll love you. But how do you know if she's dumb? Mm. How do you figure it out? You can put a blanket over their head and see how long it takes for them to get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you ever tried doing this test on our dog to see if it works? I have not. See if he's intelligent? I did not. We should. Maybe we will. All right. Is it the next then we'll junction? Know, then we'll know if it's like that he's dumb or just stubborn. It, it could be a little. I think he's mostly just stubborn. Yeah. He knows what we want. He just doesn't give a fuck what we think. Yeah, he's pretty dumb. He's like a cat. Here we go. A big dumb cat. <laughs> oh, there you are. I read the oh, sign. No, We're going this way. Where am I going? Oh, okay. That's a cork bulb. Oh. That's where you get cork from. Corpse? Cork. Cork? Yeah, like to clock up a bottle. To clock up a bottle? Clog up a bottle. Oh, there's a funny rat. I'm hitting him with a, a, a bat of nails in it. I'm gonna hit him with a funny sword. He's dead. He's dead to me. Oh, it's just rat. We are no longer friends. Alright. Here we go. Heading into the Foyade here. And if he stole Padme's life. What if Adme stole Padme's? Adme. Uh, <laughs> stole Adme's letter. Who's Adme? No more is this way. What if Adme stole Padme? What are you talking about? What if Adme. <laughs> what if there was a smaller Padme and uh, she was trying to pass herself off as the regular Padme? Hmm, do you know who Padme is? Sort of. <laughs> I only ever saw episode one out of the, the, the prequels, I never saw episodes two and three. So. I've watched all of the Star Wars movies, and I can never remember which one's which based on the number or the name. Oh, no. I just, like, remember things that happened in them. We're passing this Imperial Fort. It's I good to know it's here. Hurry. Look, look, I have, like, no stamina. That's you why have, I'm so slow. You have half stamina. I have yeah. no stamina. Slow down. No. We're passing this fort. We don't <laughs> pay it too much mind right yeah, now. Yeah, you're probably right, the mighty Septipus. Well, Smaller Padme gave birth to bigger Luke. That's probably correct. Probably. I'm navigating by looking at your screen. I'm probably going to fall off a cliff. That's pretty good. <laughs> you idiot. I hope something murders you. <laughs> <laughs> In the game, obviously. <laughs> Oh my god, why are you spinning around like a freak? I'm having a grandma attack. <laughs> What's a grandma attack? It's when you spin around like a freak. <laughs> I remember when my grandma had a grandma attack. <laughs> okay, enough of this nonsense. We're going to Belmore. It's just, just over here. She was never the same. Oh no, I'm not a grandma. Here we are. I assume this sign says Belmore. I can't read though. It's not a sign. That's a, a obelisk. An obelingo. An obelingo. It says Belmore on it. Oh boy. Here we are. Good old Belmore. It's pretty bright in there. Home. Home. Or at least it was till I fucked everything you up. You fucked everything up. Everything. Are Are you like? Is this like the beginning of a movie that you're narrating? What Maybe. happened from the middle of the movie? Maybe. 
Here we are, good old Belmore. I love There's this place. Man. Oh, that's a woman, you a racist. Racist. Yes. All right, so there's lots of crud we can do here. So uh, just poke around and see what we want to do. Do what you want to do. I'm going to take all the meat out of it. Why now is be, there dog meat in here? Now be careful. I don't know if it's stealing or not. If you it's take these crates. Meat. Let's see. So I want to try and get I'm us. I'm to jail for stealing dog meat. Probably. Damn. So I'm going to try and get us Hello? into that house I have in mind. But I think we're going to have to break in or see if someone can give us a key. I can break in. I'm cool. Me too. Let's see. This is the place right here. What's this? Stargle. Level Stargle. 30. Get out of the way, Stargle. That lock is level 30. How about up on the balcony? Level, level 40, so it's better to go into the front door. I promise it's level 30. So this lock right here, it's level 30. Uh -huh. Now, if we try to pick it, we have to be careful because if we get caught picking it, we're going to get in trouble. If you get caught picking your nose, you're going to get in trouble. That's true, even though it's completely harmless. Harmless nose picking. Harmless nose picking activities. Um, trying to be sneaky. If you want to try to pick it, you have to equip your lock pick. Syncope's gonna try to pick the do pick the door. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm playing lookout for her. I'm gonna stand here with a club and clobber people who try. I don't remember. Yes, you should try to pick it. Keep trying. Oh, oh, there's a guy coming. Wait for him. I'm giving him the eye. Giving him the eye. Are you trying to flirt with that man? No, I'm, I'm trying to distract him. Okay, keep going. Get the, keep trying to get that thing I'm open. Waiting for the little dingle. Oh right, you're you're smart. <laughs> oh shit, a guard's coming. Wait. Hello, guard. Nothing. Nothing happening here. We're just standing here, sneaking, looking at a door, holding a lockpick. I did it. You did it. Go in. Welcome home, there's a dead guy! Oh, I, uh, it's not home without a corpse. Yep. And there's, there's a dead guy. This is the owner. Ah, he has some geez, very some nice shit. expensive clothes. Alright, so this this is this is home. <laughs> I'm taking all this shit. So we can put all our crap here. Oh, he's naked now. He is. So we can put all our crap here. We can clear off his shelves, Are all these worried, stupid though? bottles, and just put our stuff on the shelves. Don't you worry, though? Worry about what? Like, somebody killed this guy, won't they kill us? Um, this Ooh. guy looks like a, a pansy. I'm sure we can take it, little And, and here's the other question. Yes. They murdered this guy, but right? they didn't take any of his cool shit. So They like, must have murdered him for a specific reason. They must have murdered him because he was annoying. Probably. He, he must have had a personality problem. He looks annoying. So we can just, any stuff we have... And we want to hold on to, but not sell. We can just drop it off here. We'll just put it on the tables, on the on the, in the crates, on the shelves, and this will just be our home. It's my home. I live here. That means I can take all the shit that I want. I'm gonna put the pilgrim's path down here since it's not very valuable. Who's the pilgrim? It's, I don't know. I didn't read the book. I just collected books. Um. I have a bunch of books on my shelf that I will never read. <sighs> Why don't you just sell them and you have money? This one's too cheap. Alright, so good. This will be our, our home base. Now we have to go to Chaos, because we have a job to do. So, I believe he's on the other side of town, in the dirty part of town, with all the scumbags and the ruffigans. Ruffigans? The ruffigans. I don't think that's what you mean. That's what I said, though. What are you going to do about it? Yell at me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, wait. Oh, what you doing? I'm changing my equipment. Oh, okay. Iron Spark Sword. Yeah, it has That's an enchantment fancy. on it. I'm just gonna switch back to my dingle. Okay, okay. You do. Alright. It's switch. important to be equipped for danger. Probably. Uh oh, I lost you. I don't know no, where I'm you over are. here. Where are you? Oh, you're the bouncy one. I'm, I'm the one having the granny attack. <laughs> no, stop, Grandma. I'm all better. Guard is looking at me. Oh no. Okay. So chaos which, uh, should be over here. Uh, that is 
up here in this shanty part of town. Alright, here we go. Okay, it's Casadas's house. Where'd you go? There you are. I'm walking up the stairs. You're doing it. You're almost here. I'm here. Alright, let's go pay good old Caius a visit. Ah, uh, here he is. It's Caius, damn it. A crazy old drug addict who doesn't know how to wear a shirt. I read his book. Don't steal his stuff. I steal his heart. What? 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 Yes, I'm what? Caius Casadas, but what do you mean you were told to report to Caius Casadas? It's Caius! Caius Casadas, what are you talking about? So, you say your name is Rocky, and you've been told to report to me and deliver a package? Perhaps you'll let me look at it. No. Yes. No, it's mine. Yes, very interesting. So it says here the Emperor wants me to make you a novice in the blades, and that means you'll be following my orders. Are you ready to follow my orders? Yes. No. Good. Welcome to the service, novice Rocky. Now, you belong to the blades. We're the Emperor's eyes and ears in the provinces. You can use my bed if you need to rest, but leave my personal stuff alone unless I say otherwise. If you like, you can improve your modest skills with our Blades Trainers now. Or if you're in a hurry, I can give you orders right away. But don't forget to visit the Blades Trainers. What are the Blades Trainers? Oh, they'll, they're Blades agents who will offer you training. Not for free, of course, but cheap for a fellow agent. Look for Rithleen, Tyre Malin, and Nine Toes here in Balmora. And Caldera, see Serene Leorian. And Aldrun, see Gildan, Sjor... Horsemouth lives in the hut west of Aldrun, and alone the scout can be found in a rails trading house in Saint Denis. All right, what are our orders? First thing, pilgrim, you're new and you look it. Here's two hundred drakes. Go get yourself a decent weapon or armor or spell. And second thing, you need a cover identity. Around here, freelance adventurer is a common profession. Sign on with the Fighters Guild or the Major's Guild or Imperial Cult or Imperial Legion. Advance in the ranks, gain skills and experience, or go out on your own, look for freelance work or trouble. Then when you're ready, come back and I'll have orders for you. So basically he's telling us to go dick around and then when we're ready to start the main quest to talk to him. I didn't do any of this stuff. So he gave me 200 gold. So while I'm not a rich asshole like you, maybe I can finally buy myself a pair of boots. <laughs> so, no, no, you can't. So I'm going to go do that since I'm poor. I am so rich. No one, no one loves Granny to give her some money. I am so rich. I'm gonna read his book. Go ahead. You can read it, just don't take it. I read his book. He did. I'd like to see him try and stop me from being literate. Aha! Alright, get out of here. Where'd you go? Let's see. I, I just went off into town. Where's my grandma? <laughs> grandma! I'm lost. Grandma ran off again! Call the cops! Grandma go ahead. ran away with Granny. Find Grandma in the brothel. Grandma, no! Now, is Grandma there to uh, hang out with the hookers or to be one? You know the answer. I don't, so I'm asking. Grandma, what are you doing in here? Oh, this is my sisters. Why doesn't Rockhog take mushrooms From and write an entire hail? game's lore? Because I'm bad. You're bad? Yes. I'm lost. I don't know where I am or where you are. Oh, I ran away. Come back. I miss you. Okay, I'm gonna get some armor. I'm gonna this talk to Bo Satildi. Bo Satildi, oh no. Welcome to Balmora, council seat of house. Whoa. Uh, How uh, can I serve you? Boots. Oh, cool. I got some bracers. I'm gonna buy a torch. No, I got some pauldrons. I bought an, a throwing knife. <laughs> do I leave? Goodbye. Oh god, why are these pauldrons so expensive? The what, what? The pauldrons, I can buy one pauldron. Do you want some money? No, I'm a very self-sustained grandma. <laughs> Grandmas all live off of social security. Exactly. I'll be so good. So, I'm gonna give you social security. There you go. I now look like a cool- everyone, I am cool grandma, as you can see here. I look like just- like I belong in Final Fantasy. And, um, That's unusual. Don't talk to me. What else? I found an urn. What's in there? Sulfurous. That's gross. Throw it away. <laughs> Sulfurous. 
That salt racist. Salt race. I stole this man's gold. Oh, this shit's worth anything to me. What if it was? Why is your computer screaming? I'm stealing gold. Why is it making screams? Oh, yeah. 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 No. That doesn't sound funny. Sounds funny to me. It's funny to me. Squee. Alright, I have I'm upstairs. 103 gold. Let's cool see. upstairs. Oh, I found a, a lizard. Oh, yeah, you know, they're everywhere. Is the lizard gonna murder me? Only if you steal their stuff. His name is Nine Toes. Oh, he's he's the, he's the trainer hunter. that Kay has told us about. Wealth oh. beyond measure. Training you. He can train you in things oh. for a price. That's too many money. I'd rather not learn anything. Yeah, get rid of him. I can't afford to go to college and he alone. I can't believe we're poor. Do you have any good luck weapons? Oh, this guy's selling a crossbow. No one ever got to be rich by giving their money to some lizard man. That's true. Yeah, I'm gonna buy this steel mace. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now I have a powerful mace. Okay, that was a good purchase. Um, Grandma, where are you? I miss you. Grandma, help. Grandma, why? Where are you, Grandma? Grandma. Grandma. Grandma, please. Grandma, where are you? Oh, I don't know where you are. I'm lost. I don't know. I'm gonna run around screaming until I find you. I'm standing oh. right here. Oh no, that's not you. That's someone who looks standing like you. Standing with some scary person. Oh, you're in you're in the bad part of town. You're gonna get mugged. I'm talking to Balin. I needed some advice, Balin. Um. Here we this go. This is the good part of town. This is where all our friends live. I'm back. Um. So, you think we should join a guild? I thought we did. No, we well, we joined the Blades, but do you think we should join a regular guild as I well? I don't know. Can we join the Assassins so they stop murdering um, us? No, that would require us to actually start a different quest. Um, mm. See, in this town there's a Fighter's Guild, a Mage's Guild, a Thieves' Guild. I want to join the Thieves' Guild. And then there's also the Temple, but let's go join the Thieves' Guild. I'm a thief. Well, the thief. I think the Thieves hang out in this bar over here. Turn the stream up. The see the problem isn't the stream, the problem is syncope. Well can they hear you? I'll, I'll turn it up a little more. Turn it up all the way. Okay. It's super loud now. Grandma, Deal with it. Get out of my way. Okay, here we go. We're going into the bar to find some thieves. I love thieves. Hey. Oh, she's yelling at me. Don't yell at me, Satilda. Okay, um, she's not the person in charge. I already talked to her. She is. Who's this nerd? Ah, uh, some nerd. But here, here's the person in charge. Who's the person in charge? That's you. A Kit Kat. Yeah. <laughs> Sugar Lips Habasi. She said, are you looking for me? You want to join the Thieves Guild? I do. Alright, go, so join it. Uh... You look like you may have some skill you want to join. Or maybe you want to know what we're all about. Oh, what, what are the rules? Ask the rules. Just remember, there is honor among thieves. Do not steal from a brother thief. Everyone else is a mark. Do not attack a brother thief. Do what you will to everyone else. If you have a price on your head, we have ways of taking care of it. If you break these rules, you must speak with one of the masterminds here in Vardenfeld to regain your good standing. Think you can handle it? That sounds pretty good. Yeah, I guess. And I'll be helpful once we get caught doing something we're not supposed to. You are now a toad in the Thieves' Guild. Welcome. Talk to me when you want some odd jobs to do and when you think you're ready for advancement. If you have a price on your head, there are those you can talk to as well. Great. Ask her for a job. Let's Give do something. Give me a something. job, nerd. A uh, good friend of Habasi wants a diamond. Now, Karia, the alchemist, has diamonds. Huh? Diamonds. Uh, a friend wants... White Haven. A friend wants a diamond from Habasi. Nalaria of White ha Haven has diamonds. Bring her a diamond. Okay, so we can go check out Nalaria's... Gotta go to White Haven. And we'll see if she has it easy enough to steal diamond. Okay, goodbye, right. sugar lips. Let's go... Cat doesn't even have lips. Shh, don't tell her that. She'll be oh. sad. I don't know if I can you, but... Wait, do they have a bed here? I want to heal up my magic. Oh, I want to sleep in Room a bed. Room door. Nope. We would have to pay for it. Give me a bed. Oh, well. There you are. Alright, so I know the way to... Uh, to what's her name? It's over here. 
Hold on, it's dark. The salt striders just look like uh, cicadas when they haven't shed their little gross skin when they come out of the ground. Yeah, and they have really long legs for no good reason. So they can stride the salty dingus. What the heck is a silt? Silt is like all the crud at the bottom of the water. Oh, that's gross. Throw it's it away. Like, it's like river dirt. I love river dirt. Alright, she should live up here, I believe. Calm down, ghostly gawker, you nerd. <laughs> I'm trying not to make myself tired. Alright, here is the alchemist's store. Let me put my stupid ass ladder away. Let's just go in and see if we can't find an easy to steal diamond. There you are. So she's over here, and obviously there's diamonds here, but we can't very well steal from in front of her face. So let's let's check her upstairs. Uh, maybe she has something here. In fact, there's a locked chest above her bed, and I bet you can unlock that with your your thievery abilities. That's so cool. So you can just hop on up there, and you, there you go. You're doing great. You did. I did. I'm All smart. Right. Keeping lookout. I need to switch over to my bitch. <laughs> there you go. No one is going to know you're here. Yeah, yeah. My 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 left hand is sleeping. Oh um, no. Disease. Okay, I'm keeping a lookout while you try to pick uh, that lock. I got uh, disease. I'm trying. Is it working? Nope. Failed. Failed. Help, I'm a failed. failure. Failed. This is supposed to be easier than that door I opened. Keep trying. You got really lucky with that door. Let me in. Keep Let going. Me in. Let me in. Oh, Success! I did. Are there diamonds? There's it's three of them! And she only diamonds. needs one, so we get a, a surplus. I'm the winner. Let's see. What else we got in here? You can't sleep in someone else's bed! Oh no, I no. committed a crime. Oh shit. Um, you probably have a small bounty on your head now. Shit. Don't well, I have friends? Well, let's, let's... Wait, good... is it a crime to sleep in a bed? Shit! Um, oh no, they okay. found out about okay. my stolen okay, goods. Wait, I'm coming back in to look at you. Don't look at me. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, okay, so here's the plan. Uh -huh. Resist arrest. Okay. As soon as you do that, the guards are all going to try and kill you. What? So here's what we're going to do. No. We're, no. Listen, here's what we're going to do. We're going to run all the way back to the Thieves Guild, and they're going to pay, they're going to, we're going to get them to get the guards off of you. But I'm not good at that. All, all you need to do is, is, is follow me. I'm bad at that, remember? <laughs> just trust me, just run and constantly look at me, okay? Yeah, you can, I'm not good at looking at you. Okay, go, go, go. Bye. Follow me, out the door. Um, ow, okay, follow me down me. here. Okay, so just keep running and beating looking at me. Bones. We're gonna make it. No, we're not. We're in trouble for... for, for <laughs> we're not in trouble for stealing three diamonds. We're in trouble for trying to sleep in her bed. No, well, now they think I'm a thief. Why is it a crime to try and sleep in a bed? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fu I didn't even try to sleep in it. I just looked at it. I know. <laughs> what the hell? What kind of shitty town is this? You can't sleep in a goddamn motherfucking ass looking <laughs> dick kicking bed. <laughs> just keep running after me. We're almost there. I'm running out of stamina. I know, but just keep running. It, it'll be fine. No, it won't. I'll be dead. It's fine. Just keep keep after me. We're almost there. I'll be dead. We just gotta hoof it so I'm we don't get be, caught by the guards. I'll be dead. It's fine. Keep after me. <laughs> We're almost there. All right, here's the corner stamina. club. Okay, we're safe. There's no yeah. guards in here, so let's hand the diamonds, the diamond off to to Hanasi, and then we'll ask her to get the price off your head. I have diamonds. Here it is. You did it. She gave us a potion of invisibility. Habasi will take care of everything. Habasi cannot pay you until Habasi's friend pays Habasi, but Habasi has this potion to give you. There we go. Thanks, so, Habasi, you dummy. So ask her about a price on your head. Price on my head. There's a price on your head. There are a few people who can make it go away. In Balmora, talk to Fane, Riel, and Aldrin. It's Tongue Toad. In Sadith, Mora, Rosinia. Right. Where are we now? We're in Belmora. And so I need to talk to Fane. Yep, and he's down here manning the bar. Where's Dingus? Dungus. He's down here being, tending to the bar. Get out of my way, Catwoman. But 
but she purrs with excitement. You steal honor among thieves. No, you can throw it, you guys throw it out of the thieves' guild if you steal her book. I was borrowing it. God, I thought we were friends. No, she's just using you for diamonds. Uh, uh, isn't that the same as being friends? I always nope. thought. It all is these not. kitty cats, and there is a lizard man. Here's a lizard. Only he stands there. That's his name. And here's the man we're looking for who's going to take care of your bounty. Excuse me. Will you please murder the man who's trying to kill me? I don't Thank think you. that's what he does, but. <laughs> speak freely, friend. I speak. Fee. <clears throat> we're on the street, you got five gold in your head. So I get a discount. You do. <laughs> a discount. So he's going to take the five gold bounty you have on you for sleeping in a bed off of you for two gold. What a bunch of dumb shit. There you I think, go. I think they're all in on it together. You're a free man now. This is a fucking scam. You're a free man. Get Although up there. Walking around with that lockpick in your hand is probably suspicious. Why? It's just a lockpick. Calm down. Let's go ask a... a, a Can't even stab a man with it. Let's ask a Habasi for more jobs. Habasi, help. I'm stupid. Give me a job or I'll scream. Wants the key to Narano Manor. Okay, that's... Okay, we can do that. How do I, do I have to murder a man? It depends. Do I have to murder Narano? I hope not. Habasi wants the key to Narano Manor. Downstairs manors are rarely locked, but Habasi wants to go upstairs secretly. Who has the key? Andres Narano has the key. Habasi thinks Narano's servant, Sovor Trandall, at the council club has a key. So there's two possible people we can get the key from. Andres lives near Nalcaria's shop. His home is in the middle of the street. Sovor spends all his time in gold at the council club over by the Salt Strider. Alright, so we can see if we can get a key from one of them. Let's go somewhere. Alright, let's see. I need a rest. I'm dying. Oh, right. Let's go sleep in, in Caius's bed. Won't I get arrested? No, he he's he likes us. Where's his bed? It, it's not in the corner club. It's How do I get to his bed? Downstairs. I'm outside. Oh, that, that's good enough. Um, and a crate. Mm, it's golden. So Can I put, take it? Well, if, if no one catches you. Will I be murdered? If no one catches you. That's dumb. What are you doing up there? I'm lost. Get down from there. Okay, I'll jump. Okay. Go for it. Is it safe? Can I jump? It looks like a short distance. <sighs> Maybe you have to jump on the crate first. Uh, it's not working. Try from a standstill jump and then press forward. There uh, you go. I'm so smart. I'm gonna jump right onto that little pointy thing. Don't and jump! Impale Don't myself. do it! No! Oh, you're fine. Uh, uh, I All right. I don't hang on that thing. Let's go see, to see Caius. I'm gonna All sleep right. in his bed. What's a good cheap arcade stick to buy? Spooky wants to know. I have no Does idea. Does anybody know? I don't have Someone an arcade help poor stick. Spooky, they don't know what's going on in this world. I don't have an arcade what stick. What are we playing? We're playing um uh, the Elder Scrolls Three, the uh, T, uh, Test Three MP. It it doesn't have a very good name, I'll be honest. All right, I have to do a good sleepy. Until healed. I am all shit. Oh no! Run, leave. Why is it every time I try to sleep, someone tries to murder me? Goodbye forever, Caius. God damn it! Okay, so I never get to heal. Maybe we should go in and try to kill him. This game sucks. Should we try to kill him? I mean, this game sucks. Fuck you. Can we like save or something? Is that a thing that can happen, or do we non, just like non multi non multiplayer? So like, what do you do? Okay, let's. Let's go. Just die and it's over. No, we can revive. So we're gonna try to kill him. Oh, he's murdering He's in, he's in black. Oh, he's murdering me. I'm hitting him. Uh, oops. Oh yeah, you have a lockpick equipped, don't you? Yeah, I do. I wish Caius would help me. Caius is a dumb fucker. He's too high to help me. Um, he has too much moon sugar in he's his a system. Man. Okay, so far he's missing a lot, so thankfully. We, we gotta be, make sure we don't hit Caius since he's just standing there looking at us, watching us get murdered by a deadly assassin. He's an idiot. Pretty much. He's, he doesn't re realize that deadly assassins can enter any hall in their That's life. true. Now I'm gonna summon a ghost. There we go. Ghost, help. Oh! Oh. Sorry, I thought I saw Caius get hit, but I was wrong. Why isn't my ghost helping? He's confused. My ghost is useless! Your ghost is worthless. You have a trash ghost. Thanks a lot, ghost, you piece of shit. I like
like miss every single thing that I do. We'll get better. Oof. He's almost dead. Be dead, you fucker. Be dead, you big vagina. Alright, he's dead. Okay, he's dead. Now, good news about this syncope is he is wearing a very high-end set of light armor. Sweet. I'm taking it. Yeah. Fine now, bitch. Now he's... he's nude. Yeah, he's dead. Yeah, so you have a... V so this is... so these assassins only come from one of the... Uh, expansions, mm. and it's... they're just here, and it's kind of really unbalanced how they have this extremely high-end set of armor, and you can just have it. Like cool, an hour into the game, so yeah. there you are. You are now a fucking ninja. I will live forever. And there's some, more, yeah, one more glove. There, you're a fucking ninja. I am a murderer. So there you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I guess you could. That's you now. Can I sleep in my bed now? Oh, right. Yeah, you can go ahead and help. I'm over encumbered. Oh, you might want, have to dump some of your stuff off. and then act, You're two points over encumbered, so you can uh, dump off something small. Shit. And then you can Get probably. Out of here, extravagant belt. There. I think you can move now. And then you can just sell your sell some of your well, stuff sleep in this after bed. you sleep. I have to sleep in it too. You can't sleep in the bed with me, Grandma. That's weird. I'm sorry. Okay, have a sleep in the bed. Grandma, we're related. No. <laughs> You're adopted. I'm not adopted. You're adopted. Oh, no. <laughs> I adopted my grandma. <laughs> All right. Ooh, a pipe. Don't take his pipe. He'll get mad. No. All right, so let's if go. I take, if I take my belt back, will he get mad because he thinks oh. it's his now? No, that's yours. But the I'm thing is, if you, in the back. if you take the belt back, you're going to be over encumbered again. Oh, Caius, calm away. down. Caius, calm down. Put your titties away, Caius. Caius, you're freaking out. He's having a grandma attack. Oh, he's having a grandma attack and he's only a grandpa. <laughs> All right, let's go sell some of your stuff. Is he freaking out? So, yeah. Let's sell some of your stuff so you're not over encumbered. All right. All right. There's a bunch of merchants on the other side of town. All right. Here I go. I'm running. Wait for me. Oh, oh, I lost you. Oh, well, I'll have to get a new granddaughter. A brand new one. You'll have, first, you'll have to make a new son. No, I'll just adopt. You can't adopt a granddaughter, dumbass. Why not? Because they don't just give them away. But what if someone doesn't have a grandmother? They, then they have to be sad. Oh, okay. There you are. Okay, all the shops should be up here. There we go. There's a whole buttload of shops. There's a uh, armorer here. It will probably be your best bed for your armor. Hey, doofus. Well, I want stuff. Repair? Ooh. Ooh. It's got a nice orcish curious here. I wish I could have it. There's a guard looking at me. Kill him. I can't. I'll get arrested. Kill every guard and then you can have whatever you want. It's true. That's just how life is. That is the meaning of life. Did you, did you want any of this stuff instead of me just selling it? Um, no. That's fine. Alright. Alright, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go see what I can mm -hmm. find out about this key we're supposed to get. You don't buy extravagant left gloves? No, you'll have to find someone who buys clothes for that. You fucker. Uh. Alright, where do we got the lucky lockup? I think it's the council club. I have very expensive brandy. There we go, Thanalyn Valus. He's one of the fellows with a key. What? Let's see. Night of what? Oh. Oh, I think he's the guy who killed the man in that house we we um we commandeered. Oh. oh no. Why would he do that? Because he's a bad boy. Um. All right, no problem. Um, does he have a key? Goodbye. Where am I going? Where are you? Oh, I didn't know where you went. I'm I'm in the something. Where? Are you? What? I'm in the council club. Um, uh, where's that? It's over towards yes. um yeah here. 
You can see me now. Can I? Oh, yeah. yeah. You're right, I can. There you go. I can't see you because you're dressed like a sneaky ninja. I'm invisible. Oh no. Alright, so I was just in the council club trying to figure out how to get a key from this man. You should taunt all the NPCs so that you can murder them and steal their shit. We Wait, could, but I'm worried he'd kill it? us. It yep, that's stop? it. Oh, okay. So, this is the man right here. We have to figure out how to get his key. Are we new here? Oh, let's uh, see. Oh, boy. What's that? I think he's the guy with the key. He just wants to tell me about lore. Oh, maybe this isn't the guy with the key. Silver Trandall. Shit. Shit, no, it's a different oh. guy completely. It's this guy right here. Yeah, I'm an idiot. You think it's? All right. He has a little secret. He says, I work for him. What else do you want to know? Dang. I'm asking him about a secret. Oh, okay. He says, so, you think House Hualu is just an Imperial puppet? Shows what you know. Who really runs House Hualu? Not the House Council. Those posers do what Orvis Dren tells them. Orvis Dren is the Kamona Tong Kingpin. They're just making up words, man. <laughs> And one day, when the time is right, Orvestren, the Kamalabla, and all the right thinking Dunmer will rise up and murder you outlands in your outlanders in your beds oh, and no. restore Morrow into ancient glory. Oh no. I think, he, I think he's a racist. He is. Um He will train me to be a racist. Oh boy. Ah, sweet. Shoot. For a hundred coin, he'll teach me to be racist. So I don't know how we're gonna get the key off of this man. We have to murder him. Oops. I'll insult his, his people. I mean, we could taunt him until he fights us. Or maybe if we make him like us a lot and we ask him about the key, he'll give it to How us. How do we get him to like us? By persuading him as well with admiration. Can I bribe him? Yes, but then you're giving him gold. Here you go. Is that bribe what you think I'm worth? Oh, no. He wants more gold. Shit, what an asshole. Uh, I'm going to admire him. Oh, he yeah, liked that. He likes it. I'm gonna admire him. Nope. Oh He's no! He's busy that day. Sorry. Oh no! I'm gonna uh, give him a hundred gold. And he'll love me. That's how it works, sir. Right? Uh, hopefully. Okay. Oh, success! Uh, he kind of likes me now. It's a little better. You know what? Um, ask him about what's his name. The the Bob This guy? No, it's gonna be in his list of things on the right. This, uh, this guy? Keep going down. Um, Rollin Hualu, I think? Uh, no, that wasn't it. That was a different quest. Uh, oh, um, Andres Nerano. I work, I work for him. What else do you want to know? He needs to like us even more, I think. I don't have enough money to make him like me. I know. Ah! Nope, I just made him dislike me. I don't have enough money to pay off this guy. Maybe we should just taunt him until he fights us. Taunt him. Taunt fail. Don't you have better things to do? I'll try to taunt him too. Shut up and draw, he says. Ooh, see that was a success. We just gotta keep taunting him until he's, he's had enough now. Oh, I'll barter with him and then he'll love me. <laughs> I think he's um, gonna want to barter with us after we taunted him. Good thrashing is what you need, Wood Elf. Honestly, you're doing actually pretty good if you're getting more successes. I've gotten all fails. You are pathetic, he said. Oh, I got one success. I'm already at zero out of a hundred. What more is there to do? You have to just keep doing it until he's had it. You are pathetic. 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 Oh! Oh my god. I gotta do it! He hates me now! Oh shit, his oh, friends! No. Leave! Right? Why did you murder him? I didn't know all his friends were gonna do it! Run, run, don't even try! I wasn't trying, I just couldn't figure out how the doors were. His friends weren't supposed to attack us as well! You dumbass. Okay, so fortunately there's two people with a key. Um, Why are you bad at video games? You played this 600 times when you were a baby. I did, but I didn't remember them all attacking us. Oh no! 
Oh. Now I need to sleep in a bed and get murdered again. <laughs> well, at least we can go back to our stolen home and Give sleep there. Give me a bed. Come, you can jump, and I can't jump. Uh, uh, jump straight upward and then move. Oh, that works too. Wow, well, that was funny. It's dumb. All right. Okay, here's our stolen home. Give me my house. Let's go to bed. Let's see. Uh, okay, I'm sure there's a bed in here. A bed in here. Oh, that's where he keeps her lady. Wait a minute, there's a woman in here. <laughs> oh, no. Excuse me, this is our house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Saw the Dunmaru killed him with my very own eyes. Give me the description. Young with red hair and a tall row over his head, as is fashionable these days, he wore bone mold armor and wielded a Dwemer war axe. I do not know more than that. I'm sorry. I wish you luck. That was one of the guys in the council club we just got ran out of. Oh. Well, I but... can't sleep in that bed. Oh shit, let's go upstairs. This isn't our house, oh, it's their house. Much nicer bed. Don't mind the mess here. It's normal. It's just a little messy. There's nobody here trying to murder me, so... Just I'm a little messy. We're in good shape. Good shape. I'm gonna take all this stuff out of here. No, I'm not. Okay, so now how in the heck are we gonna get this key now that our best bet has a gang after us? How many people can play multiplayer on Marlin? A whole lot. Like all of them? Pretty much. Uh-oh, I lost you. I misplaced you. It's okay. If I jump from this, will I die? Maybe a little. Uh -huh. You have to jump in place and then move forward. There you go. All right, Called so me an ugly elf. Oh, no. So this is the manor we're trying to get the key to. So the guy in here probably has a key. The problem is he also lives here. And we're members of the Thieves' Guild. We're not really assassins. Brings me to another random man. Hmm. I don't know how we're gonna get this guy's key. I wonder if he has a key somewhere in the house. Goodbye. I'm gonna look through all his shit. Now you can look in containers. As long as you don't take something, you won't get in trouble. So I'm gonna head upstairs to see if maybe he has a key hidden somewhere. Oh, he has lots of books. Books. Ooh, there's a chest here. It's locked. I like to read the books. What does the book say? Nothing good. Oh no. Alright. Imperial College. I don't even have a lock pick, not even bothering. Ooh, and there's a locked door up here. I have a lock pick. So there's both a there's a small chest here that's locked and there's a locked door at the top. Where? So um, here's the chest, oh. so we can try to get in there, and then we can check his room upstairs to see if there's a key up there. Okay. Although, I don't know why he would keep a key in a chest, so maybe this is a futile uh. thing to be breaking into. Uh. Oh, maybe I lost my lockpick in the war. Um, scroll to the right. Oh, there they are. Smart sometimes. There right. we go. Yeah, I think it's safe. Oh, yeah. Uh, lockpick failed, lockpick failed. Success! What's in there? Uh, That's just an egg and a yam? A fucking yam. Why would you keep an egg and a yam in a chest? It's a waste somebody's lockpick. Is, is this his lunch? <laughs> that's his lunchbox. Oh, that's a neat little lunchbox. They don't have Scooby-Doo lunchboxes. Oh, this is locked. Yep, so that's what we gotta do. Uh, you gotta get us in there. Uh, Lockpick failed. Success! Alright, let's see if he keeps his key up here. Let me in. Oops, we're both trying to open the door. The problem is we were in the way of the door opening. Oh shit, this is locked too. <laughs> oh, and this is trapped. Help, I'm trapped. <laughs> Ooh, he's got some fancy clothes. Grandma will take that. No, Grandma. Thank you. No, Grandma. Oh, oh, damn it, you got better pants. <laughs> there we go. Grandma's looking exquisite now. Exquisite, Grandma. 
rest of this stuff is all locked up. I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna have to to see if there's a key in any of these. Um, Ooh, maybe there's a key under the pillows. Let's see. Nope. Now I just have pillows. Dang. Grandma does not want pillows. I did it. I turned his pillows sideways so he'll be really nope, upset. just a bunch of fancy shit. Ooh. Just a bunch of dumb fancy shit. What else is locked here? He also has a, a treasure chest and a small chest. So maybe there's a key in one of these. Hmm? Oh, he also has a treasure chest and a small chest that are both locked. I think my lockpick broke oh. instead, but I have another one. Yeah, you might as well use the other one. But I'll miss it. It's fine, we'll get more. I'll miss it. it it's okay. I'll miss it. Oh no. One journeyman's lockpick. Alright. Let's see what's in here. I bet it's shoes. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at you. Let me okay, get out of here. I'm trying to be sneaky. There we go. Okay. What do we got? Just a bunch of shit. Oh, it's booze! Boobs. I love boobs. Well, maybe it's in the small chest. Where is that? Oh, it's over here. Um, but it's trapped. Well, I'm, I'll tank the I'll tank the hit. Just get it unlocked. But it'll hurt me. No, if you can unlock it and don't try to open it, it'll be fine. Um. Okay, I'm gonna try to open it even though it's trapped. Stand back. There it is. Uh, Grammy is going to open the door. <laughs> ow. Oh, ow. I'm fine. Oh, you're fine. 50 gold! That's dumb. Dang, he must have the key on him. I don't know how we're gonna. His butt. Ew. I'll have to tear it open. I don't know how we're gonna get that key. Uh, scuttle. Dang. There are no keys for anyone. We'll have to murder him. But we're not murderers, we're well, thieves. We can become murderers very easily. What if they find out? And we'll just pay them off. Well, I guess you 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 provide a very convincing argument. That's how crimes work. Well, we're just gonna have to kill the man. Let's persuade him to kick our ass. Can we ask him very nicely to give us the key? I'm gonna ask him very nicely to kick my ass. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, stop. I'm trying to talk to him. Oh, I'll just run away. Goodbye. You dumb butthole. Look what you did. I was trying to have a nice conversation with this you, man. You literally just told me that we were going to kill him. Well, yeah, but I thought maybe I'd try something else also. And you should have said so. I did, right then. Right when he started killing us. Well, I'll let him kill you and I'll just stand here. <laughs> Ow, he punched Grammy. I am sorry. I am so sorry. Oh my god, I pushed a button right. Oh, okay, it's fine. I, I am so sorry for killing you. I am sorry. I didn't mean to. Well, I did, but it's, this is a very complicated situation. We're the worst thieves. Is there like a way to like pickpocket people in this game? Yes, but you have to have a pretty high skill. Well, we try that. Even. Mm -hmm. well, he has a key. Oh, okay. You can just take everything. That's fine. <laughs> well, what else have you got here? Let's see. A sack full of rice. Oh, some alky holes. A blue pot. Eh, nothing good. Let's go get this key to Habasi and hope she doesn't mind that we murdered the man. I hope she doesn't mind. Was he a friend? I don't know. We'll, well find out. Well, considering we're trying to steal from him, I can only assume not. Maybe it's like a fun game they play as friends where they steal from each other. I don't know. I hope we not. We fucked it all up. Oh shit. It's like our best friend ever oh, in the whole oh, world no. and we murdered him. Oh no. Him like a big old jerk. We're the worst. 
Okay. Next time, I'm gonna try to not murder our target. Murder is the solution to every problem. It usually is. Except for the problem of how do I keep this person living forever. That's true. That usually doesn't help. Unless you're trying to cryogenically freeze them. You get the Ramanakibi, yes. Yes, here it is. Habasi likes this key, yes, but Habasi hears that Andres Narano is dead. Oh. Habasi shot very hard, and Habasi does not want to pay you. Damn it! She oh, we don't get paid. He was a big butthole. Oh. Oh well, I got all this cool stuff, so I'm going oh, somewhere. Let's ask her for another job, I guess. I don't want any more jobs from that dumb cat okay. lady. We'll come back to her later. I wanna. Uh, what is this about? Hail. Goodbye. Goodbye. I'm tired. You are? Yes. Do you want to go to sleep? I think it's time for sleep. Okay, so we'll just we'll, pick, we'll just pick up on this game another day. We'll regroup and figure we'll out what regroup. we want to do next time. And and this next time we won't murder our our target because that sucked. Well, you murdered them. It was, was your just, idea. It was my idea, but I didn't decide to do it. You did. You shouldn't have given me the idea if we weren't going to do I it. I thought you played this game before. Shouldn't you know how it works? I, well, yes, but <laughs> it was still your idea. I'm going to summon a ghost. I You're did. so much smarter than me. You shouldn't do what I say. I summoned a ghost. Do you like him? No, he's dumb. Oh, okay. Ghost is worthless. Can I kill it? Uh, if you want to try. I try and kill it. Everyone's syncope is going to get murdered by a ghost. This is a video of syncope getting murdered by a ghost. <laughs> it's There's working. a picture of syncope. Actually, she's killing the ghost. This is a video of syncope killing a ghost. She killed it. Rest killed. in peace. It's dead. It's dead. Rip it's the ghost. ghost of a skeleton. Oh, no. It's the ghost of that nice man we just killed for a <laughs> Will haunt us forever. Oh, no. Now I'm gonna kill you. Hey, no! <laughs> Don't do that. Very bad. <laughs> okay. Well, how was that? How do we do now? Just press escape and then do exit. Not save or anything? It saves on the server. Oh, then how come it tells me I can save? I mean, there's a button, but it's not how life works. Oh. Not how life works. There you go. I saved. All right. Now, now you can exit. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world. You did it. All right, so that was our help. That was our Morrowind for the day. Game we'll, is over. We'll, we'll probably come back to it another time. Play more Owen. And this time we won't kill our targets. We'll kill each other. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you. And I hope you have a good thing. See you later. Bye. Bye. -bye. Mario.